Hello guys, this is Jerry speaking, welcome to LG Spirit React, episode uh, 200 and, uh, I mean, excuse me, 300 and um, A, and today we're reacting to um, the Penny Game Podcast episode 69, and we're going to be reacting to this in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. What, what kind of pizza, what kind of pizza are you eating? It's what cheese kind of pizza with chicken on top of it. Or the chicken, bacon, jalapeno, pizza. No, not chicken, bacon, jalapeno. It's not that type of knife. <laughs> butter, breadsticks. Nope. Unfortunately, I do not have breadsticks. It's just pizza. Man. <laughs> that's all you have is... Wait, wait, wait. That, that's all you have is this fucking plain pizza? You gotta have it's like chicken, a... Uh, chip with chicken on it. Don't give me okay, that. You, you gotta put some, you gotta introduce some sauce on that, man. Well, oh, no. Another thing you can get... Um, I think Pizza Hut has is so delicious. It's a uh, uh, chicken barbecue, barbecue chicken. Mm. That's not bad at all. Man, that sounds, man. Oh man, man that's good. Wait, wait, so. wait, Lucas, what did you say? I was saying the Shane South Restaurant has that, like one of our yes. Oh, yes, I, I thought you said you should have a salad with it. I'm like, no, don't, you, pizza. don't you fucking dare add that nasty green leaf shit. Hey, uh oh uh, no, it's nasty. No, and besides, pizza is my number one favorite food of all time. Continue on. Please, sometimes. Salad is fucking nasty. Oh, come oh, on, Drew. Anything, anything healthy, healthy man. Cucumber. Um, no, it's not fucking nasty to me. Sour cream, uh, sour cream, patch kit, patch kit is awesome. So there you go. Let's continue on. Broccoli. Like, and anything, no. any, anything Sorry, healthy is for you it is nasty. Like, come on now. Let's, I, I'm let's sorry. I fucking hate every vegetable in the book except for potatoes, but that's a starch. That doesn't count. Still. Because I love potatoes. Everyone loves potatoes. Mm. Not even sweet potatoes, Jerome. Uh, I love sweet potatoes, man. Sweet potatoes? Mm. Yeah, I'm not the big fan of it. I'm talking about like baked potatoes, mashed potatoes, and four cheese potatoes. I'm talking about those kind of potatoes. Potatoes, man. No, I don't say potato. I say potatoes with an e. <laughs> potato from the North no Orange, by the way. Potatoes. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the brand new episode of the Fan <laughs> Game Podcast, episode number why. 69. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's episode 69, and boy, I love my pizza that I'm eating right now. It's pizza yeah. time. As, as <laughs> Man. Uh, you're speaking of 69, I'm, after, later on, I'm going to have to brush my teeth because Kirby doesn't want my, his groin to taste like pizza. Kirby is right <laughs> over here. Man. <laughs> never, yeah, it's man. never not funny. We got lots of fun tonight. We got lots of fun stuff. We're gonna be serious for a little while. Then we'll get into some more, some more fun stuff later on. But oh, I'm gonna be stuff, very serious. I'm gonna get you guys introduce yourselves first while I finish eating real quick. <laughs> man, God damn it! <laughs> God damn it, Shane! <laughs> you're in your noise. I'm gonna take a drink. Man. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna get me fucking killed. <laughs> Man. Ah, uh, that's better. Anyways, hi, everybody. <laughs> oh my god. So, anyways. Hey, Shane, you know what I just realized? What's that? Because uh, my mom, you know, she pack. She has like all her eBay stuff here, and she has like a metal, like a like a like a like a like a, t like, a t like, a t like metal uh, ruler stick. And what scares me is that a yard is a 36 inches, and I just realized you're bigger than this. I'm very yeah. nice. <laughs> you better be, you better man. Be you better be on your best, yeah, uh, best behavior, man. You better be on your toes, son. <laughs> man. Gonna need to be because uh, you're gonna be on your toes once it's suddenly move. <laughs> so, anyways, you're listening, everybody. You're listening to the Pain and Game podcast. It is currently Wednesday, January 18th, 2017. So, with that being the case, we got some. Plenty of good things to talk about tonight. And of course, it is episode 69, as we all well know. Get it out of your system now, although it's going to be at the end of the episode, so there you go. Well, I won't be able to get out of my system because the way Kirby likes it, he likes to get it in my system. <laughs> oh, no. Bro, excuse me. You need me to remind you where Kirby is. <laughs> man. Right over there with the other amiibo. Stop it. <laughs> that being said. Man. I got some good things here for tonight. Not too many things, but some good stuff. First off, we have a new segment that I like to introduce weekly to the show. Man. We got, um, let's see. What else do I have? Uh, I think not... we both have one topic. We both have oh, one. yeah, well, yeah. We will be talking about the Nintendo Switch. Oh, it's oh. Which is awesome! 
I talked about him Friday's Lou J's 25 episode 138. It was awesome. Continue on. Yep. And of course, the very last bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. An update about the Samsung nonsense that I've been going through lately. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. I got an update for that, and I think you guys are going to want to hear about it. Uh, short and sweet, that is. And finally, the last bit of my segment to the very end of the show where we talk about the weirdest sex laws. So, because <laughs> yeah, come on, it's not episode 69 with a little bit of little erection going on. Oh, I know so. that Magoony and I will be Bonnie and Clyde when it comes to that. <laughs> Man. Oh, I know. So, this is, think of it as foreplay. Anyways, continuing on to the next part. Romy, go on ahead and uh, get your get yourself out of the way here. Hello, everybody. My name is Elsie Marshalls. If you excuse me, I'm just bottling myself up with hot, uh, hot lotion oil so I can slip and slide into Scarlett Johansson and not scar, uh, not hot, uh, and not hot. Man. I went to Alfred. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I was that ball. With Scarlett Johansson that ball, I wish I was the ball. I didn't know that was Scar Joe. It didn't look like her. At first. It, yeah, it did. No. But it really was. I was like, I, no, oh. I would be the ball if it had a dildo attachment on it. Oh. Oh my God. Well, like Gary would say, Gary, his bullshit. Gary had to have Spider-Man humping Oh, come on. You wouldn't bounce up and down. I know I would, man. Fucking hell. Like, the Spider-Man it would bounce off of it, literally. Yeah, the Spider-Man, bro. All the Spider-Man thing is, Spider-Man doesn't need a ball. He has a girlfriend. Wow. Mm. Hey, man, what if he wants two bits of action? You don't, you don't, you can't run this man's life. Mm. Hey, two for the nope. one, you can't beat. Yeah. So, I tell you, I have a plot, plot, plot. <laughs> of topics, I created my list of the ten greatest villains in movie history. I got film mm. plots explained horribly. I got a good amount of these. Wow. I got uh, from last week. Watch Mojo's ten most violent superheroes. Very nice. Oh yeah, yeah. We didn't we didn't uh, cover that last time. That's right. Um, I do have some football topics. However, football. However, oh. however okay. I'm gonna make a mainstream. Lucas. Mm. Lucas. 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 Mmm. What's wrong? Did Kirby shot in your mouth already? No, I'm eating it, so. Okay, and then I want to talk about the ratings that the divisional playoffs <laughs> did. I was only even able to get the Sunday games, not the Saturday games. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I got something about Deadpool 2. Cool. Cool, cool. I got uh, a return wrestler that made me so happy. And of course, a rat oh, on man. a fucking douchebag. I told this to Shane, and Shane was disgusted. Man, was I now? Was this uh? I'll say, Mary. It was about a particular athlete and what he said. Oh, man. oh right. Oh, this is gonna be bad, folks. And, and I anybody... got a rant too. But let this get things started off with a movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought you were done. My bad. I thought. I'm not done. The only time I'm gonna be done is when I'm finishing on your face. No, you mean Gary's? Well, Gary's at work right now, so you're. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, uh, oh. And, 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 oh my god! What the fuck? You both got you go both got yes, and I got three movie reviews. So, uh, let's begin. All right. Now we can start with the yes. movie review that I saw last night with Mr. Austin. Okay. It is the oh. new Emily Shyamalan okay. movie Split. I want to hear this because you know me. I motherfucking hate this guy with a burning passion, but I heard this movie was fucking good. Dude, really good. it is really good. I'm oh, going to okay. right now. It's really good. James McAvoy has such a great performance in this movie. He able to balance all his own um, personalities. And there is a plot twist. I am not going to spoil it because mm -hmm. it is a great plot twist that's in the very end. Awesome. If you saw Austin's awesome, was like, holy shit. But yeah. The end I'm, guessing it, plot. I'm guessing it has something to do with one of his identities that hasn't been revealed. Oh, man. I'm not going to spoil it, unfortunately. I just I just know it because I know how M. Night Shyamalan plays. But mm -hmm. what? Mm -hmm. but there also, mm -hmm. Taylor Joy, who was in The Witch, was really good as well as the... She was pretty good. <laughs> the other two girls that really wasn't interested to it, and then the um, the psychiatrist was really good too. The cinematography in this movie is really good. The music is really good. It definitely has a good pace with the movie. And then having um James McAvoy do all of his um voices, it's unreal. Like how he transitions wow. from one personality to the other, it is unreal. 
he committed to this movie and he did an excellent job. Wow. I do have a couple of names. Really good. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) So it's actually really good. (laughs) Absolutely. And um, I do have a couple of names picked, though. The two other girls that were with him and Taylor Joy, I really didn't care for them that much. Oh, boy. And there was a bit of a time where in the middle of the movie, it did drag a little bit. But otherwise, though, it is a slow movie and it does take time to build up. But when it builds up, oh, my God. Dude, the last, like, 20 minutes... My jaw was dropped on the floor. Like literally, actually, no. It's like the last half hour. My jaw was dropped from the floor. Just when this moment happens, and you see something happen, you're just going, "Holy shit, man!" Dude, I was like that during the screen, dude. And you know what's bothered me though? Someone brought a freaking one year old to this movie. I'm like, why? Seriously? Yeah. Dude, someone brought a one year old. I can't stand that crap, dude. It's man. Stupid. That yeah, reminds, that reminds what me. happened if you bring a one-year-old to that stupid bullshit, you know? I mean, what's going to happen next to Split and then all of a sudden you get a baby? Continue on. I can't stand that. Who would bring a one-year-old to a Ray R movie? Continue on. It's me when I went to go see uh, Spring Breakers and this mother brought her kids with because it had Selena Gomez and uh, Vanessa wow. Hutchins who are like, wow. you know kid-friendly type Disney uh, celebrities, and the first five, ten minutes, shows like, you know, Spring Breakers all naked, getting drunk and doing shit, and they left right afterwards and made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Man. I, I understand, Lucas, so this is way better than The Visit, I hope. I hope it you is way better than The Visit, because oh I do not like The Visit at no, all. Like, no, my I number nine was wars was 15. It was also Man. my number nine or eight wars. I'll be goddamn. But yeah, overall though, I give the, the split. This is a really good movie. I definitely think you guys should check it out. Definitely for the spoiler. And there's one thing that is going to surprise you, and one thing I'll make you pretty happy if you call it my Shyamalan movies. But otherwise, though, eight out of ten. Very okay. good movie. All right, good wow. job. Check it out. All right, so this might be the biggest hit or biggest good film of the first good film. I won't say great film, but the biggest, the first good film of. 26, uh, Absolutely, because I, next week I want to see Monster Trucks, though. Oh, <laughs> I want to see that movie, but give me one second, I'll be right back. I'll wash my hands after the pizza. Yeah, I wash my hands, you know, I just too much. No. Man! <laughs> <laughs> He's got the movie. Wait, stupid Beagle, uh, I like to visit over. I'm st- okay, it's like I said, you can go to me, Gary, and Luke Nukem's review on it where we go into details over everything. Yeah. Come on, you know that movie is fucking bad when even Shane predicted the twist and he never saw it. Yep, uh, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at figuring things out. Like, it is, movie, it is the pimp daddy of Hamlet County for a reason. Yeah, that movie is fucking garbage. Not that that movie makes sense. Oh right. yeah, Shane, remember the, the ultimate meal we had for the network? The oh, pimp daddy, back daddy pimp meal. Yeah. yeah. The, all right, so guys, this is, there's this place here in Florida called the the Cheese Gallery, wow. and Lucas didn't uh, told me about it because I had no idea it even existed, and he was telling me that there was this um, this bowl called um, the Pimp Daddy Poutine, and, <laughs> uh, and he's like, "Oh, it's perfect for you," and I'm like, "You know what? You're absolutely correct." So, so. I mean, we're trying to figure out a time to go do so, and I recently uh, completed my G class course for security, by the way, mm. and after we did that. Um, I uh, we went to this place, and man oh man, it was it was nothing like I was expecting, and that's in a good way because holy crap was it good. Yes, it was. It was. Um, if did anyone, you, what was that? Did you, did you show up in your zebra jacket? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be incognito, man. It can't it can't let everybody know. Come on now. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, uh, if anyone's in Florida. And, you know, he's nearby who uh, want a really awesome place to go hang out and have some good uh, mac and cheese dishes. This is the place to go. Yeah, really. because I also had the Mac Daddy sandwich and the Pimp Daddy poutine. Yeah, mm-hmm. he yeah, he had both. And I was just like, damn, dude. But um, so no, it, it, was totally worth it. It. <laughs> <laughs> it was totally worth it, though. I like my thing came with like, uh, you know, mac and cheese. Drizzled with some uh, really good sauce, has some bacon bits in it, and completed with fries in it all together in one thing. And like it's so, with gravy, cheese curd, all that. Shit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's what I was looking for. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. 
Um, wow. God, if he was just up in his fucking like like what Gary when he created the wedge, you know the pimp dungeon wedge, and he looked like that eating that thing. I swear to God, I I could die happy man. <laughs> man, I don't <laughs> So you only saw one film, Lucas? I only saw one film. It's been pretty cool. I've been pretty busy oh, working yeah. and doing I mean, other applications and stuff. So I can go here yeah. tomorrow at this one place. Hopefully it goes did, well. Yeah, good job, did man. You, did you go see the Bye Bye Man? No, I did not. <laughs> I, bo- okay. I did not bother to see that movie. I'm dude, sorry. dude, ever since I made that fucking joke about Justin Timberlake when I was doing the January preview, like that was like early in the year with Kevin motherfucking Falk, <laughs> okay? Yeah, the Justin Timberlake joke. Everyone's been fucking you uh, using it. I thought it was in sync. Who did that? The bye 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 bye. Look at <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that was. Yes, they were the ones. But I made a joke in relating to that to the bye bye man because Justin Timberlake said sing the song bye 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 with in sync. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. The boy band, yeah. You know, I mean, I heard they filmed it in the biggest uh, state, California. <laughs> Oh, is that? Oh, wait, is that? Is that? Oh, I thought that was Goldie. Oh, oh, hang on. Uh, we fast rewind this. Hang on. We pause it real quick. Oh, is that? Oh, oh, okay. Is that a golden receiver with flounder with the little mermaid? Okay, let's continue on. Wait, is that? Is that? Oh, I thought that was Goldie. No, it's not Goalie. Goalie's downstairs. This is another dog I saw. I was say, Goalie was moving around like that at her age. God damn. You, you she did her... not do that at her age. She God, that's like, what are you giving her? Like, Miracle Grow for plants? Yeah. Yeah, except it's like the dog equivalent. Like, Man. <laughs> so, yeah, dude. Chris Stuckman used it. Uh, Double Toasted. They used it. Uh, and, and I'm just like, okay, but here's the thing. The video when I did that with Kevin Falk, that was at January 4th. Almost at the beginning of the year. Wow. And now everybody's doing it. It's pretty surprising. Maybe you started a viral trend. You know, it, it's like me with uh, Devil's Doo-Doo. Man. Yeah, Devil's Doo-Doo. That. Because I created that, and I remember Christian Harloff used that. Used that. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> man. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, uh... Uh, now, I can't confirm that they stole that. That's not the right word for me to say, you know, because I, I don't put words out of the people's mouth <laughs> so um having said that i have three three movie reviews i'll go over real quick first one is sing okay oh wow oh and i'm with the general audience yeah it's okay it's okay i really liked it man i'm sorry i really like the movie you know, I just like i can understand you know it's it's a, it's a musical type with anime and stuff but you mean animation, CG? Uh, Anim- uh, you know, I, I was using abbreviations. Wow. Abbreviation, is that ABR? That's not even an abbreviation. That's not even an abbreviation. I know, and I was leading up to that, yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Anyways, as you were saying, though. So the movie, I was just like, I'll just uh, do these uh, reviews really short and sweet. So, eh, it was okay. I give, oh, it, a six out- I give it a six out of ten. That's, that's not too bad. That's... I really enjoyed it. Okay, and then I saw a fucking excellent movie. What was that? Patriot's Day. Ooh. Yes. Now, of course, Patriot's Day starts Mark Wahlberg, who plays as a cop, who, after he got suspended, he, you know, he's, at least he's not working behind the desk. You know, he's out in the field, and he was assigned to be as a guard on the finish line. Of wow. the Boston Marathon. Wow, <sighs> man. And it also features the two characters that were the cause of these and how they did it and how they planned it and so forth. The movie starts out, like the first 25 minutes, it starts out with like in a, like a tree, like a branch of a bunch of characters, but you'll know why they do that because all these characters will have meaning value when the rest of the movie progresses. And when the bomb goes off, those two bombs go off. Go off. Wow. Oh my goodness! It's like it's 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 horrifying. It is. Wow. Oh man. I mean, Peter Park doesn't hold back. Like this is already for a reason. Wow. Oh, definitely. And honestly, with something like this, with the subject material that it is, I don't think he really should hold back either. Nope. If I be, and... if I can be truth, be truthful here. 
And then after that, um, here comes Kevin Bacon, who plays an FBI agent who usually, when him and his group come together, they usually take over an investigation case of it is terrorism, and it was. And from that point forward, it comes, it turns into like a crime investigation, uh, crime investigation movie with a little mix of suspenseful thriller. <clears throat> right. Now, this movie is absolutely excellent. Mark Wahlberg and Peter Berg, uh, they're a great team. I hope they continue making movies together. Similar to like, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio and uh, uh, Mark Scorsese or, you know, like Arnold and James Cameron. I yeah, hope mm-hmm. these two guys continue their trend because, man, Peter Berg has been on fire. Ever yeah. since uh, he fucked up with battle shit, uh, he came back with Lone Survivor. And, uh, wait, United 93 or Patriot's Day, which do you prefer? Uh, good question. I prefer United 93 because I think that one is a little bit better m- movie, and I'll explain why. I do have one flaw with this movie. Man. Certain lines of dialogue. Okay. That's understandable. Okay, because like okay, uh, uh, J.K. Simmons is in this movie, and he takes he plays an important factor when it came to the the fucking shootout in the Boston streets between the two bombers and the cops. Uh, mm-hmm. And then they and then one of them end up getting killed. Uh, all right, it's not a spoiler because you know if you know the actual event that happened, you know all of the uh, yeah. and. And uh, J.K. Simmons, you know, he he takes an effect, and at the end, at the end of the segment, he's like, he's like breathing really hard. He goes, "God, I need to quit smoking." I'm just like, really? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Man. It, 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 yeah. It's it's an attempt to try to you know make things um, you know, humorous and whatnot. You know, mm-hmm. sort of lighten the mood a little bit. Because to yeah. be honest, like the entire story of this thing is pretty damn depressing. So. Oh, it, it's fucking. And the scene where he hides in the boat, and they and. The reason why they they heard uh, that he was there is because uh, during martial law, when everyone was supposed to stay in his house, one of the guys saw that someone was in his boat with someone thinks, and it was him. And they 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 opened fire. The cops opened fire on his boat, and then one of the cops at the end goes, "That boat's never gonna stay afloat again." I'm just like, "What?" <laughs> Man, yeah, I was like, really? <laughs> you know, there are certain some lines like that here and there. Other than that. Awesome movie. Uh, if you ask me, which is the best? To me, the best. Um, uh, Peter Burr. I still, I still get the edge to Deepwater Horizon because I think that's one of the greatest disaster movies ever. But that's nothing to take away from the sheer uh, brilliance of this movie, and it's really impactful. Uh, Nine out of ten. Fucking excellent. I, I couldn't recommend this movie enough. And man, you want to talk about like, um, like intensity? The sequence with um, the Asian guy. In the car. Mm. You remember what I'm talking about, Lucas? Yep. Hey, nocturnal animals, take some fucking notes. Still. Okay. Yeah, fuck that movie. My last movie. Oh boy. Get ready for some hate. Okay. Is this she males with dongs penetrating t- poor white poor white twinks three? White tw- man, man, you man, you being this. <laughs> I don't like to watch that. I like. To watch it with a guy banging the female, and the female's busting nuts all over the place. And the, the prostate all over the Oh, man. Oh, my God. Sorry, porns with those two hot chicks. Big dogs are fucking, and I swear to God, they bust the nuts so fucking big they can fill up <laughs> Home Depot buckets. Oh, my God. <laughs> you ever seen that shit? God damn. Oh, my God. They can put out a fucking fire with that thing. <laughs> man. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. The third movie I saw, it was online. I was actually in good quality, and I'm watching it. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this is Oscar Bait galore. Still. Mm-hmm. And it, to me, it's so over fucking praise, it's not even funny. My last movie uncovered over is Moonlight. Oh, I know. I've been waiting to hear this. I'm sorry. This movie, okay. First of all, the way this movie is, it's basically like Boyhood. Except, I think it's better than Boyhood. I will give it that. It's much better. Because Boyhood is so fucking overrated, it's not even funny. I don't hate the movie, because at least Ethan Hawke made that movie redeemable in the slightest. Okay? So, basically, Moonlight is fantastic. Uh, More power to you. 
So the movie is separated into three chapters. First chapter is Little, second cha uh, chapter is Chiron, and third chapter is Black. Ch uh, uh, little is where he was a little kid. I'm sorry, Nick. I want to go over that, Nick Canino. When he was a little kid, the second part is where he was like in high school, and the third part is when he's a full grown adult. Now, the first two chapters are fucking undeniably boring. Still. This movie is so fucking boring. I have no idea what no words for this. <clears throat> Holy shit! And then there's a part where I literally had to pause the movie because I was screaming out bullshit. Like, pure bullshit. It's the final act in Chapter 2, Chiron. Do you know where I'm going with this, Lucas? Mm -hmm. Because something happens to him, and when he retaliates, he goes to fucking jail. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. not spoiling it. I'm just, I'm just, I didn't tell you what happens exactly. I know what you... <clears throat> I was screaming out bullshit. I was like, uh, what the fuck happened to double standard? It, I, I was so fuming. Because I was just like, this would never happen. And I was just like, this movie is so fucking dull. And then the third chapter comes up. And I was just like, and the third, <clears throat> excuse me, the third chapter uh, called Black. That was, that, that, that section was excellent. That was a great, that was a great chapter. I was just like, why couldn't that be the whole fucking movie? Still. <clears throat> so, and uh, the performances are great. And, uh, especially who plays um, his mom. Who? Oh, yeah, Naomi, well, I think it's like Naomi Harris, I think. Yeah, she was so excellent in this. And also, the guy who plays... Um, the father figure? Not the father mm -hmm. figure. No. Well, he was he was really good too. I'm talking about the uh, the uh, God who plays Black in the third chapter. Oh, okay. I, that I, was I, his I, first I, time in the movie, and he was fucking superb. Still. Having said that, I'm sorry. This is overrated. Three out of five. Man. <laughs> no, man. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I don't. Fucking get these goddamn Oscar bait films. Get off their fucking dick. Quit writing. But yeah. Oh, uh, now I am more. Yeah, I was this fucking number one of the year. I was like, one of the best of the decade? Uh, bitch. How many films have you seen compared to me? <laughs> more night and the morning. Still. I got, I got more night. I got Brooklyn and I got Boy right there. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you fucker. All right. So, I'm sorry. Three out of five. I'm sorry. This get more praise than Patriot's Day? Get the fuck out of here. I'm so, sorry, that is a slap in the face. Patriot's Day was engaging and just nonstop, just thrilling. This movie, for the good portion, was fucking boring. Still. Damn. Damn man. God damn, it was Oscar Bay galore. That's exactly what it was. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Speaking well, of that drum. was my movie review, so. Speaking of drum, real quick, though. I want to check my schedule real, real quicky quick. Okay, let me see here. I'll see you day tomorrow. Then no, I'm not what I was looking for. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> not what I was looking for. Wait, what? What? What is that? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Me, I'm you, looking for my not... schedule because I have an announcement to make. Okay, I'm all wow. recording the Oscars. On Tuesday, January 24th at 8 o'clock in the morning, I will be doing a live stream for the Oscar picks. And then doing my thoughts after. Oh, Man. Oh, oh, oh. Because they'll be streaming at, I think it's January 24th at 8.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and then 8.30 is when the announcement's coming um, on ABC. Let me double wow. check that real quick. Let me throw my TV, but... Yeah, I'm going to mute my TV. Don't worry. But, um, yep, okay. I work at night, so I won't be able to... I will be able to catch the... No, stop it. I will be able to catch... Why don't you the... What? <laughs> <laughs> I just muted my TV. I had to, so... Still... <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna check real quick on the um. So let me just go dates. Actually, no. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, here you go. Right. Go back all the way till eight o'clock in the morning because. Well, guess what are you doing? Oh, oh are you checking? Your, oh, I know you. I know what he's doing. He's trying to check for the Oscar time because they're. All right, uh, um. 
they're doing the Good Morning America, where they will have the they'll have Good Morning America in the morning, and then they'll have the Oscar coverage right around eight thirty or so. Oh, so. speaking yeah. of that, Shane, do you want me, do you want me to talk about it now? No, well, actually, God, you know what? I want Shane to talk because yeah, I'm I'm really you're done, perfect. Shane. Shane has to say this. I'm sorry. I, I had I had to give Shane the floor because when he told me this, oh boy, you want to talk about an announcement? So yeah, Lucas, you're going to be doing a reaction to this. All I'm going to say is I'm not watching him because I already know what to expect. What is it, man? What? Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Shane. You, you got to hear All this. Right. All right, so as I mentioned before, there was a, um, there's, as I mentioned before, a while ago when I told the story about what happened with our flooring and, uh, Samsung, right? Yeah. Uh, I would give an update. Well, this is the update. So, as it stands, there's still two, no, I mean, um, $20,000 worth of damage, and, uh, Samsung still has done diddly dick about it. Now, now, let me also mention something here. We're not the only ones who have had this, these issues with freaking Samsung, by the way. I'll tell you one thing. In fact, uh, compared to what some ha things happened to others, we kind of got off uh, better, actually. Because there was this report that, because one of the machines malfunctioned, actually broke this lady's jaw. What? Yes. Uh, I'm shit. Yeah. Now... The thing is, we've been trying to go ahead and get Samsung to pay for all of this. Um, the the repairs, the fact that we have to go live at a, at a different place for an entire fucking month, by, mind you. That's fucking bullshit, man. I know. An entire month. Um, not only that, uh, it, it's, it, we have to be able to get to move our shit out. It's like we're moving for like an entire month. Um, I believe that the woman is okay, by the way. The one that got her jaw broken, she, she's just fine, I believe. It's not like she got killed or anything, just, you know, <laughs> broken jaw. So it's still really, really <laughs> shitty, though. But anyway, I'm not downplaying that or anything. But anyways, so earlier uh, yesterday, I was coming home from, I think I was doing some errands or something. My folks were making a big fucking deal, and I'm like, what, what are you guys, like, you know, it's like you're getting stressed out and stuff. I was like, what are you, why are you getting stressed out about? And my dad says to me, he says, look, uh, we're going to be having uh, ABC coming here. And I'm like, is this about the floor again? He's like, yeah, it's, about, it's definitely about the floor. And I'm like, so you're telling me Samsung has done shit? And he's like, yeah, they have not done a thing. So yeah. I'm like, okay, so what is it? Is it the same thing that ABC is going to be doing that uh, West Palm uh, TV did? WP, WP TV that they did, right? Well, yeah. It's going to be the same exact fucking thing. Now, here's the difference, though. Mm -hmm. WPTV is local right. here. Right. ABC is fucking national. That's now, Man. allow me to explain something here, and I want you guys to keep an eye out on this within the next uh, week to two weeks. Because mm -hmm. this story is going to be shown on Good Morning America. Oh. Oh, 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 see, ever since look at when he first said "Good morning, America," I'm just like it just clicked, and I'm like, yeah. Shane has to talk about this." I'm dead serious. Um, it's going to be on "Good Morning America." They're going to cover this entire story. But the thing is, originally, it was going to go ahead. Uh, what was it? Uh, originally, it was going to air tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the, the producer was doing a phone interview with my dad on speakerphone while they were recording everything, right? With the big-ass cameras and shit, right? <laughs> and he said, uh, what was it? He said that um, normally we would be airing this on Thursday, but due to the fact that there's been so many reports of things like this happening, we're going to have to uh, cover all that first. And then we'll go ahead and put this on the air for um, next week to the next, uh, the week afterwards. Gee. Okay. Oh yeah. my goodness. Yeah, yeah. So, so in short, this entire story that we're going, this whole thing we're going through is going national. Um, I'll let you guys know on the network about um, when it's going to be shown. Uh, not only that, 
we're going to find some uh, some place to live. We, I think we already have, and we're not going to be moving out of it until April first. I think so. Yeah, okay. it's April Fool's Day. Yeah, continue on. Jesus Christ! For an entire friggin' month, man. So yeah, that's the uh, the latest and greatest when it comes to uh, Samsung. They're so, just, they have just been Samsung, so, more like it. <laughs> uh, I was going to call them. Uh, shit, I, I had a name, but I don't remember now. <laughs> and, uh, uh, at least their TVs are good. Everything else sucks. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. hey, uh, by the way, uh, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas. What? Lucas, look at the chat. Look at the chat. Look at the chat. I'm, I'm, what? I'm look. No, 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 don't, don't backtalk me, you little fucker. No, look in the chat. Chat. Yeah, look in the chat. Look at the chat right now. I'm looking at the chat. Do you see? No. Do you yes, see I... what? Do you see what's going on? Yes, I see what's going on. And. What do you think? Give me a second, let me write a reply back. Oh, okay. fuck! Oh. Shane, Man. Shane, you're gonna have to hold me back. You're gonna have to pull some Israel commando shit to keep me down. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give you the paralyzer. Man! <laughs> it ain't gonna be using my hands if you know what I mean. <laughs> Lucas. What? I'm writing a reply back. Just, just, give, just give Lucas a moment. Just give Lucas a moment. Come on, you gotta type faster. Oh, type faster. I'm faster. typing as faster. 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 faster, faster, quicker, quicker, quicker. quicker. <laughs> God. That's the only Nicholas Winding Ruffin movie that was good is Monson. <laughs> I love that movie. Man. <laughs> because of him in it. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, 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 yeah, Lucas. What? <laughs> Lucas. What? You have a beautiful, adorable young lady who thinks you're so adorable, you're so hot, so attractive, and you reply and with great Back. compliment. I God, you you're 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 a harder to break through than other people. You know why? You know, well, you know you, you, me? Do you understand why though, Lucas? Yes, I understand. I'm on Romy's side on this one. I'm gonna tell you this right now. When you're done on pain and gain, I'm tr I'm trying to keep calm. I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to find my inner peace. Okay, no. my inner peace. Okay, and it's not a shimo dick. It's not Gary's fingers or my beauty making my eyes roll in the back of my head. No, I'm talking about this. This. You just go and. D <laughs> Lucas. You respond with fucking thumbs up. What the fuck? No, I told you. No, I no more inner peace. It's gonna be outer haven. God damn it. No, after you're done, after you're fucking done, I'm, I'm hit like that so goddamn hard, shaking the house. After you're done, <laughs> you better. Okay, wait. Wait. <laughs> Thank you, Brett. Shut Man. Up. No, you be quiet. You be quiet. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Brett. you gonna be nice. Look, you gonna be nice or I'm making you play Silver Surfer. God damn it. Okay. Man. Sorry, everyone in the chat. I really think Lucas is working. Do you see this shit, Lucas? Jesus! Lucas, I'm gonna beat your, I'm gonna beat your fucking ass, Lucas. Lucas? Look at this shit. I don't get opportunities like this. Man. And yet, and yet this. I can't hold back. I can't hold back, Ruby. <laughs> You're on your own on this one, man. I can't do it. Can't do it either. What? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, that one. <laughs> okay. Yo, I'm killed it. I'm killed it, Captain America. I'm he man. <laughs> I'm killed as a button. <laughs> I'm a dog boss, a kitty cat. Speaking of kitty cat, uh, mm. I have the power. <laughs> Can you imagine Lucas dressing up as He-Man doing the, doing the, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> no, you have no idea how much money I'd pay. Oh Man. my God. Well, and Goldie would be his, uh. <laughs> Goldie did not turn to that kind of stuff. She's too old for that. <laughs> Still. When I tell her attack, I'll see if she's laying down her bed and she's Man! No, I know. No, it's wrong. No, I told Goldie attack. All she would do is like this. She'd go. Turn around. No, she'd be like this. She'd just look and she'd be like, Wolf. 
And then she'll fall asleep. <laughs> Man. She'll just fall asleep. Just fuck. Oh my god. Goldie's just too old for that oh, shit. Oh my god. Do I have to show you what Aaliyah Burnett looks like? She's 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 cute as a button, and you're just like, oh, oh thank you. I'm so I'm so upset. I just want to slather my nipples in freaking cheese right now. Jesus Christ, Lucas. <laughs> Dude, I'm Man. so upset. I could fucking Kool Aid through the goddamn wall. <laughs> I can see that. Oh, God. Wait, so everybody in the group chat, I'm saying this. No, Leah, no, bravo. Hey, you know what? Leah has the guts to come out and admit that you're freaking adorable. You're just like. She's around the same age. She 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 <laughs> loves many uh, topics that you have, and she's a goddamn motherfucking Pittsburgh Steelers fan. What more could you ask for? Yeah, seriously. Dude. What more could you ask for, dude? This is even I can't get this fucking lucky. Still. It's right, it's, 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 it's right, it's right there. It's right there. It's playing this fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I ain't touching that with a four foot pole. Man. Four, yeah. I'm not touching it with a 40 inch pole. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Still. Hey, get your hands off my dick. I can't help it. It's so soft. Yeah. How much Vaseline you put on that month? Okay. More than enough. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm going to translate this to this to football. Now, speaking of football, I want to go over. Oh, boy. I want to go over the ratings because, man, let me tell you something. Man. The ratings over this Sunday's game were insane. Now, you know how ass wrestling has been to where they can't even pull a fucking 2.0 rating? Yeah. And it's been garbage. Where's, where's Double Nine? Garbage. Really he was bad. Earlier. It's trash. <laughs> Me. It twitch. Uh, 75 inch pole. No, come on now. He doesn't have a telephone pole in between his legs. Oh, does he? So, uh. I want to read this. Uh, I got this from a couple websites. I didn't write down the, the source, sorry to say, but here we go. Fox, okay, divisional playoff ratings. Fox's afternoon Packers and Cowboys, which is a fucking classic game, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's what, That's the game of the year. Sorry, Lucas. I know you're gonna say Steelers Ravens. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It wasn't nowhere as close as this game. It wasn't near as epic as this game, and it didn't have as many viewers. I'm gonna get to that right now. The Packers Cowboys game is now the most watched divisional playoff game in history. Still. Okay, now let me. Okay, okay. The game on the overall average, on the overall average, did it. Okay, remember how I said that Raw is barely doing a 2.0? This did a 28.5 out of 100. Wow. Out of 100. Jeez. Oh, it gets better. So basically, and it did, it's 12% higher than Game 7 of the World Series. Really? Yes. Because I brought in 40 million viewers. Man. Oh, uh, Romy, look in the chat. <laughs> oh, my God. My dad's a diehard Cowboy fan. <laughs> oh, I bet he was losing it. Okay. They pulled an average 48.5 million fucking views. Damn, dude. That's like 24 times what Raw gets. No. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, actually, yes, he's right. Because Raw pulls like 2.8 million. Man. Oh, okay, hold on, uh, Pepsi Man. Uh, yeah, 28.2. Uh, 28 and when around the two minute warning, where it was getting really interesting, the game peaked with 62.4 million viewers. Wow. Dang. That's. They haven't had this many views on television since last year's Super Bowl. Wow. That's crazy, man. And when it came to the the <laughs> when it came to the Steelers and the Chiefs, okay, so before I get to the ratings, Lucas, what the fuck, dude? What do you mean? <laughs> oh the, 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 the Steelers, they play so excellent. 
motherfucker, this only happened where the opposite team scored two more touchdowns and, and they still, lost. Yep, yeah, 253. It was 254 now before the Steelers beat the Chiefs. The Steelers, they won with field goals. God damn it. How are you going to beat the Patriots if you can't even score a touchdown? We can score. Hey, hey, here's the thing. I'm going to say this. Did you watch my victory lap slash for preview week of the um, the championship games? I explained yeah, it victory pretty well. on your bottle. But here's what I explained pretty well, though. The Chiefs have the best red zone defense in the entire league compared to the Chiefs, Steelers, and Patriots are the top three in the top red zone oh, defense. Oh, okay. okay. The Chiefs Hold that are the thought. top secondary. Okay. Hold that thought because – Look at the Seattle Seahawks. They claim to have the best uh, defense, and look what happened. <laughs> Man. It's a different story, though. The Chiefs no. have, here's the thing, though. The Chiefs have a great secondary. You have Eric Berry. You have Marcus Peters. Two unbelievable stars at their position. Dude, Marcus Peters like 20. He's my age, and he's dominating cornerbacks. But, mm. yeah. Yeah, don't mess me. You want to twerk well, my yeah, neck? They also have one of the best linebackers as well. They have one of the best linebacker force as well. The Patriots so. don't have a strong secondary like the Chiefs do. I okay, think but the Steelers and the Patriots will do a little okay, better. Okay. That is more experience. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that uh, when it comes to red zone defense. I was still. like, okay. But still, they didn't score a goddamn touchdown. So. They will, though, come this week. Though. They'll definitely improve so. because Le'Veon Bell is a beast. Le'Veon yeah, okay. Bell, dude. Le'Veon Bell's on pace for uh, and having an ab playoff average of 163 yards per game in the postseason. Hey, Lucas, you know what I'm praying for? I hope the Steelers and the Packers go to the Super Bowl so we can kick your ass again. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> we'll see what happens, though, because here's the thing, Jerome. Jordy Nelson might not play. He's still I know, I, I heard. But, okay, but as I was, now when it comes to the primetime game, the uh, the Chiefs and the Steelers pulled a 21.9 rating uh, with an overall uh, average of 37.1 million, and it peaked at 39.1. So this making this uh, one of the oh, best primetime showings uh, for yeah, record. Really? So, yeah, very good, but still, it wasn't as good as the Packers game, was it? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's it. It wasn't as good as the mushroom t- sensitive feeling that you get when you want to explode. <laughs> okay. Now we get to that. Here comes my rant, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. <laughs> I just went from birth to a cough. <laughs> I, I think because uh, Roman's like, oh, no, something serious. <laughs> yeah. Uh, serious. Perfect time. Like, what the fuck? You gassies. Or it's like, or it's like, it, like what did Peter Griffin say? It's just an imagination, man. Will we burp where we fart and we fart where we burp? <laughs> <laughs> man. Okay. Oh. It's out of his mouth. That would be disgusting. That'd now, in all serious note, okay. Mm-hmm. Here comes my rant. I'm going to say this right now. I want to give out a big motherfucking fuck you to Michael Bennett. Man. You don't know who this cocksucker is. Uh... <laughs> Man. Michael Bennett is a defensive end for the Seattle Seahawks. And, dude, Seattle has become one of the most unlikable Football teams in the past few years. Wow. I'm serious. Mm-hmm. And Michael Bennett has always been a fucking douchebag asshole. He's always been a fuckface. And this story unlike right brother, here. Unlike his brother, uh, Mart- unlike his brother Martellus Bennett, who's a good role model citizen for the Patriots. And well, his brother's actually kind of cool. Michael Bennett, he's a fucking cocksucker. And you ready for this, folks? I am not kidding you. This is what happens, and prepare to be fucking disgusted. Okay. What? Now, Seattle and Atlanta uh, played on Saturday, and Atlanta's offense is the best offense they have ever had in their history. Man. Oh, speaking of that, hey, Lucas. I know. Hey, I Lucas. Have to do this. I hey, Lucas. This. Alex and I said they were a dominant team, and you're like, no. They're overrated as shit. They're going to crash and burn in the later season. They're in the oh, NFC Championship! Exactly. Right. You know do? Just, as <laughs> as, 
You want me to do just because <laughs> homie was right and I was wrong? God damn right I was right. Right, right. right inside your asshole with my big fat cock. Hold on, I have a better thing to do. <laughs> God damn it, Shane. When I pull that fucker, I was going to sound like a cork popping. <laughs> Get off the room. You were right, okay? Here's what I said. Now I'm going to physically eat my own words. Ready? Do you have, a, you have alphabet soup? <laughs> oh, it's disgusting. Oh. No, 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 no! You put it back in your mouth! <laughs> what are you doing? What is that? I didn't eat my own words. He's eating his own words right now. He's going to put it in his mouth. No, no, you keep it in your mouth! Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Oh, oh you keep it in there. It's either that or my balls. Get in there. It's either that or my balls, and I'm going to squirt some lemon juice on it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can spit it out. You can spit it. You don't have to swallow it. There you go. You can spit it out. Come on. Oh, man. That's disgusting. Yeah, you did. Still. <laughs> no. yeah. Man. Matt Ryan. I need some, spor I need some breath spray. <laughs> what kind of paper are you eating? God damn it. With toilet There's paper? No you wipe your ass? Uh, oh, there you uh, go. Matt, Ro Matt Ryan, quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons. Oh. Had, to me, I believe he's the MVP. Still. Because he has an unbelievable year. And against the oh. Seahawks, who has one of the absolute best defenses in the league, he completed 26 of 37 passes for 338 yards and three touchdowns. And he was only sacked three times. Wow. And the score was 36 to 20. They destroyed the Seahawks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn. Or as now, Gary likes to call them. <laughs> Shoot. Wow. So after the game, uh, reporter Bill Wixey, okay, of Seattle's Fox affiliate, who has been a huge Seahawks supporter many years, he began to question defensive end Michael Bennett uh, about – Seattle's uh, Seattle's line, you know, the defensive line, failing to put pressure on Ryan because they're only able to sack him three times, and look what he was able to do. Matt Ryan, okay, they had the ball at the, what, the one-foot yard, the one-inch yard? It was like almost – it was – no, it wasn't even that. It was, be, it was before that. And you know what Matt Ryan did? I hmm. forgot how many plays, but he drove he, – he drove 99 yards with over the Seahawks for a touchdown. So 12 plays, 99 yards. 12 plays, 12 play, 99 yard drive for a touchdown. Still. On the Seattle defense, which is one of the best, he fucking slaughtered them. Still. Okay? So Michael, oh no, so Bill Wixley asks his Michael Bennett, and I quote, you weren't able to get as much pressure on him as you were. And it's, uh, okay, you know, you ask some questions about, about not being able to stop the line and stuff like that. This is where Michael Bennett interrupted him and exploded in his face and became the biggest fuck face of all time. Here we go. Oh, man. This is what he says word for word, ladies and gentlemen. We got, a, we got a lot of pressure. He threw the ball really fast. Oh, really? There was some busted stuff going on, so obviously you don't know football. What? I don't know about this. That's like saying, oh... Oh, I'm talking about a UFC fight. I'm not allowed to because I've never been in an octagon. Fuck off. Sounds like just a casual pull. Man. He threw the ball pretty fast. He did his thing. We rushed as good as we could. Don't point and say we didn't do what we needed to do, okay? Don't do that. Don't tell me I didn't do my job, motherfucker. Man. Jesus. Seriously. Wow. Hey, asshole face. He is a fucking reporter asking you a question, and it's in your goddamn job description where you're supposed to be interviewed after the game. Professional football at its finest, huh, ladies and gentlemen? You're Still. Paying, you get paid millions of fucking dollars. Still. Yeah, and you, and and you this act is like how this. you react? Fuck you, dude. Still. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. Oh, you like that? It just gets worse, folks. All right. <laughs> and this is what he said. Get the fuck out of my face. Like I said, get out of my face. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I just put my heart on the fucking field. Try me again and see what ha happens. Man. Seriously, man. That's he's not... Dude, he's not a weaver. Continue on. Fucking threatening him. Still. I was like, what are you going to do? Beat up a reporter? Oh, yeah, you're a fucking tough guy after all, aren't you? Yeah, too bad you couldn't act like this when you try to stop Matt Ryan. Asshole. 
Man. And then he says this. I ain't one of these fucks out here. Don't try to tell me I didn't do shit. Man. And, yeah. Wow. I, dude, dude, anybody who supports Michael Bennett, you are a cocksucker too. Because Agreed. this is what I'm for. Look up something. Let's oh, look no, up no, no, Michael no, no. Bennett's stats to see how he did. Michael he, Bennett he, did nothing whatsoever. He had one sack. And he, he, he had one sack against uh, Matt Ryan, one of the three. Remember, Matt Ryan was only sacked three times. Exactly. And he fucking scored three touchdowns, 338 yards. He did a 99-yard fucking drive on you. Still. Mm -hmm. Oh, a joke. Joe Mako. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, speaking of motherfucker, Michael Bay, you ready for this, folks? This is where he becomes the biggest cocksucker ever. Oh, Listen man. to this. This is what he says. We lost the game. That's the NFL for you, you non-playing motherfucker. I'm like, really? This is Mr. Cashwell. And he goes, what did... Okay, you ready? What you? What did you do with your life? What you do with your life... What did you do with your lifetime, oh, motherfucker? What injury did you play through? Uh, what adversity have you ever went through? He's telling this to Bill Wixley. Now, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? What, 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 advers oh, what adversity, what injury, or what horrible consequence has uh, Bill Wixley ever went through? Five years ago, well, no, not five years ago, excuse me, uh, seven, because, you know, tw uh, 2016. In 2009... He finally fought his battle against Hodgkin's lymphoma. Man. Motherfucker had cancer. And he fought through it, man. And he it could have killed him. Still. He went through the awful, awful treatments, awful procedures of the uh, what kind the of chemo, chemotherapy, and all that shit. All of that, man. The the worst of the worst. The, yeah, uh, something that fucking kills people, tons of people. And, and he fucking fought it and won. And Michael Bennett has the ball. Has, no, he has the audacity to say something this fucking stupid, especially to a guy who's been a huge Seattle supporter for years. Yeah, exactly. Fuck you, Michael Bennett. Say that to my face. I'll crack your fucking face open with my baseball bat. Man, exactly. Exactly. Fuck this guy. Still. He hates me in person. Yeah, it's pretty shitty, man. That'd be fun. You ever seen the Ray 2, motherfucker? Come to the way, no drum. The Seahawks and Arizona Cardinals play each other regularly in um, the Cardinals Stadium. You should make I hope this guy home. burns in hell. Because that was fucking uncalled for. Exactly. Yeah, seriously, it just sounds like the guy was just asking a normal question and he just fucking went off the damn railing. Like, and, uh, okay, yeah. People are like, oh, he had a rough game. Why won't you let him go? Oh, no, no, fuck you. It's his job to go through the goddamn shit. Still. It's exactly. his job to go through the interviews. You either, okay, take advice from CM Punk, okay? Yeah, CM Punk got his ass kicked in the UFC, but you know what he did? He took it like a fucking man in a minute. Man. He yeah. He took it like a real fucking man. He's like, yeah, I got my fucking ass kicked, but you know what? I loved every minute of it, and I tried my damnest, and I said, thank you, everyone here, to watch this stuff. I was like, amen to CM Punk. Take some fucking notes, Michael Bennett. Yeah, fuck Agree. Right, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't do your fucking job because they destroyed you 36 to 20. That's embarrassing. You didn't do your job because fucking Matt Ryan did a 99. You had him at his own end zone and he drove nearly 100 yards for a touchdown. You Still. fucking suck dick. Yep, we won't be seeing the Seahawks anywhere near the playoffs anytime soon because I was reading. God. There's a lot of um, articles saying the Legion boob's done. I can honestly agree with that. The Legion boob's done. Fuck Michael Bennett, you goddamn thug. That's what he is. He's a fucking thug. A punk-ass thug. Oh, I'm going to beat up a reporter and mock him because he had never do nothing because I played on the football field and I'm acting unprofessional even though this guy fucking fought and battled cancer that's killed so many others. Fuck so you. Yeah, he's basically, he basically just, I'm sorry to uh, interject here, but he basically just compared his injuries to a guy who, who went through fucking cancer. You're like, really, dude? Come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Speaking of asshole, let's go to another fucking asshole who's a oh, yeah. bitch. This is the Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey. Travis, Travis Kelsey, he's another asshole. Oh, yeah, I yeah. I never like this motherfucker. And people say, oh, he's a great tight end. 
And yet, what did he fucking do? During, like, one big drive, Alex Smith threw the ball deep. Travis Kelsey dropped the fucking ball. And what does he go and say? He ripped officials, according to Sports Illustrated, he ripped officials following Kansas City's divisional round playoff loss to Steelers on Sunday, calling a late game holding call on tackle Eric Fisher horse shit and saying the referee who made the call didn't deserve to wear a striped jersey. Jesus Christ. Dude, dude fuck you. Okay, here's the... Oh, okay, yeah. That's so disrespectful. Okay, yeah, I will say I will say this. He did he did say one line that was kind of funny. All right, and then I'm going to pause the video real quick and show you the hold. James, look at the, all right. I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, he was this. holding. He was holding. Yeah. Does that look like a fucking hold to you? That looks like a fucking hold to me. No, that no. was a hold. Travis Kelsey says, "Oh no, that wasn't a holding." So fuck you. Travis. Okay, he did say one thing. He's like. He's like, he was talking about that ref should be fired. He shouldn't be doing this kind. Of, I was like, fucking really? But he oh, yeah, this he online. He's like, he's like, yeah. He's like, the, the guy wearing the black and white stripe. He he doesn't even deserve a job at Foot Locker. I was like, okay, Still. that kind of made me laugh. <laughs> but you want to know something yeah. funny, ironic about that? The the guy who made that call on the on game is actually now refereeing the Super Bowl. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He actually got called for the Super Bowl. That's but yeah, there he goes. That was horseshit, Flau. Kelsey tore for us after the game. He shouldn't be able to wear a zebra jersey ever again. He shouldn't even be able to work, work at fucking Foot Locker. Okay, that line kind of made me funny. It's like, if he were to just say that and then just walk away, I was like, okay. But no, to literally, you know, attack him personally. Yeah, exactly. Say, oh, he doesn't deserve this job because I know better. I, the player, knows better. Yeah, I know so, better. And, you know, you can't play the game when it's out of your hands and it's in the hands of the refs. I'm even like, Andy Reid was like, oh, it definitely was not. Um, he def- Oh, it was definitely not a holding. What were you watching, Andy oh, Reid? Oh, what were you watching? your playbook, which was actually a menu for – um. Making a menu, well, he's actually um, behind a menu. Like, instead of his playbook, he actually has a menu for KFC instead. <laughs> <laughs> Man. And then, That's a really Foot short Locker menu. Replied to it. He says, Foot Locker replied to Travis Kelsey, we make good calls. Hashtag, we make good calls. That yeah. was funny. So, yeah, Travis Kelsey, go fuck yourself, dude. You're a horrible ass tight end who does not do shit. He didn't do shit. He had a wide open pass between the defenders. And he goes, oh, oh, what's the bucket? Oh, it's what it fuck me. Oh, oh, what a figure. <laughs> also, okay, also <laughs> the game. Travis Kelsey literally went up to a def- defensive back and just shoved him right in the fucking ground. I'm like, Man. you're fucking really, dude? And, yeah, like I said, speaking of, like, you know, football, and uh, thank you, Pepsi Man, he just sent me this. Uh, the show ratings actually got a little boost because of Brock Lesnar coming back and so forth, but... They only did a 2.16 rating. Wow. <laughs> this reach wall compared to 28.2. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Raw cannot do shit. Oh, man. Uh, Dude, they got beat by a special report on Fox News. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, yeah. Or Tucker on that guy, new guy's show replacing Megan Kelly. That guy's show. That, that'd be, that'd be, yeah, Megan Kelly. She's going to MSNBC. Fuck. NBC, actually. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But okay, um, Shane. I don't know. We, we've been talking a lot about. Yeah. I do you have anything else you wanted um, to go? Um, let me see. Okay, because uh, if you don't, I can either do. Well, I got a lot of topics to go. Yeah, guess Shane, what? Shane, I know this is the perfect time for it. What's that? Actually, you know what? He's right. The Nintendo. We got to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Oh, the Nintendo Switch. Switch. Of course, yes, yes, yes. Which I talk about on Fire's Blue Jays Tour episode. One for yay. Continue on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we are going to turn the prostate switch. No, it's not the prostate switch. Uh-oh. Go ahead and explain more. Explain All more right. about the switch because I'm going so to. So the switch, for those who are unaware and, with, you know, just been living under a rock when it comes to video gaming in general, is the newest Nintendo system that is coming out this March 3rd. Now, wow. I was a little surprised on that release date because I thought it was going to come to the very end of the year. That was my my thoughts on it because, you know, holiday sales. And Nintendo makes bank when it comes to that. Um, but no, it's actually coming out uh, literally four days before my birthday. It's crazy. Uh, however, I know I'm not going to be asking for this until the end of the year for a reason. We'll get covered that in, in a little bit. The Nintendo Switch, though, the, the main thing with this, and I'm not going to really call it a gimmick, 
um, because it, it's not the right term, but rather the, the feature to it. Thank you. Thank you, Brain, for allowing me to not look like a fucking idiot. Um, <laughs> the feature to this thing is that uh, you can play it either on the go or at home. Wow. Uh, which basically, almost in a sense, makes the 3DS almost obsolete. Almost. Now, they made a lot of different uh, announcements to this thing about as far as um, what games will be coming out. And so far, what I got to say, none of the great, great games are coming out until way later. Man. However, I will say, the newest Legend of Zelda is coming out on launch. So there's that. Wow. And that one is that open world uh, Legend of Zelda, the one that, you know, is really, really ambitious in scale. Wow, that is already out for the Wii U, but now it's already out for the Switch. Continue on. That's Zelda. And, <laughs> Breath of the Wild. Zelda, the Breath of the Wild. Yep. Yeah. AKA, let's set everything on fire. Now, yes. now, the one thing that I'm looking forward to in this is that when, uh, let's see, we've got a couple of other games coming out for it. You've got, um, oh, let me take a look at the lineup here. Because, we've got uh, Splatoon. Splatoon. Well, I, I was going to, I was going to say that Splatoon 2 is coming out. Um, Xenoblade 2 as well. Uh, let me see. Switch title. Our, our eight deluxe. Oh yeah. 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 The, uh, the new, um, the new uh, the new rendition of it. Um, I did, what the fuck? That was my video on Facebook. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hold on, give me a second. My internet's being a little slow. That's okay. Oh, sorry, oh, we're good. good. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Okay. Super Mario fan just had a comment for you. Okay, so oh wait, <laughs> hold on, let me see. That, that's okay because your internet and I have chopped in a comment. Slow. <laughs> Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Scott? <laughs> Okay, so Skyrim, yeah, is uh, is coming out. Um, it has so many different renditions that I'm like, eh. Now here's here's where I was uh, getting a little excited, but I'm keeping it died down a bit just because I have a feeling it might just be a different rendition of the same game. But a Blaze Blue title got announced for the Switch. I heard about this. Now it says unknown title. No one knows if it's the last game coming out, uh, which I have a feeling it will be. Mm -hmm. Or if it's a completely new title, don't know. Uh, let's see, we've got um, oh, Xenoverse Two, Dragon Ball. Uh, that's uh, that's coming to the Switch. We've got oh, everyone's gonna love Farming Simulator 18. Anyways, uh, yeah, let me see. Farming Simulator 18. <laughs> of course, as I mentioned, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda. It's coming out on launch. Um, let's <laughs> see. Uh, oh, that's right. I uh, no more hero sequel untitled. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, uh, Final Fifty One. I can't wait because oh god, because uh, freaking as much as I've been loving Let It Die lately, I'm glad to yeah. hear that another uh, No More Heroes is coming out. I really am. Wow. Oh, I can't. Wait, I can't wait. What's What's Joe saying? Sush. I'm a farmer. Arg. <laughs> Man. He says shush. I'm a farmer. And then um. Oh, yeah. shush. Oh, wait, what did they say? He said shush. Like. <laughs> Oh yeah, Super Mario F I mean, Sando mm. 3 said, I want a Harambe game on the Switch. I'll yeah, me too. I'll be quiet! Okay, <laughs> um, an untitled um, SMT game, which I'm really looking forward to because I'm a huge SMT fan. Man. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sonic Mania, of course, is coming to it. I hope wow. the Sonic games will be better than... I, I, I Sonic I Mania so. and the new Sonic, um, mm -hmm. like, with the those, the regular Sonic. Like the, oh, yeah, yeah, um, Sonic Mania and Sonic, um, fuck, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, <laughs> shows how much I'm excited for it. Let's see, uh, oh, yeah, um, what was it, Super Bomberman R. Now, oh, oh, yeah, I, I love that. this. I, dude, I love Bomberman. Does anybody, yeah. does anybody remember that uh, Bomberman 64? Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Love that game. So I'm hoping it's going to be something like that, except, you know, like, new and improved and stuff like that. I really hope it's going to be like that. Yes. Um, there, yeah, there's I've, one thing that my there's one thing, when it comes to Bomberman, there's one thing that I'm, that's very noticeable. It's my toilet. <laughs> my Get God. <laughs> I'm sorry, God put me on this earth for this I know. Well, I know. It's false. Oh. I, Dude, it's like the Joker. You, Lucas, you complete me. 
<laughs> You're a little bit creepy there, Jerome. God damn, that's kind of true. Oh, here's something you like, Jerome. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 2, The Final Challengers. Ooh, wait, 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 there's another Street Fighter 2 game? Yep. It's a remix, technically, with two new fighters. Yep. Violent Ken and Evil Ryu. Okay, I've heard of Evil Ryu, uh, or, or I used to call him Ryu when I was growing up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but you have never heard of uh, Violent Ken before? Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, it's like it's like Evil Ryu, but you know. Yeah, it's Ken. Uh, yeah, he he showed up in um, Capcom versus SNK, I believe. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah, Ken's my favorite. Ken's my best player. <laughs> I've yeah. been really liking um, Nash lately, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> let me see. What else do we got? We have. There's the biggest one. No, I'm I'm going over the the other oh, ones first before getting to the biggest one. Okay, I see. Um, let's see. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight's coming out to it. Uh, Rayman Legends Definitive oh, Edition is too. Oh, um, oh, an untitled. Oh. An untitled uh, Pokemon game as well, too. Hey, look at that. Lame. Amiibo. Continue on. Look at that Amiibo. <laughs> that he's horny. No. <laughs> Anyways, I think I think it's best to get to the biggest one on this one, and that would be Super Mario Odyssey. So I stole that one. Wow, grab that, grab that Mario. <laughs> oh my god, I am so ready for this game. I told okay. you. Okay. Wow. I yeah. Lucas informed me about this because I had no idea. I was I was busy and I didn't have any uh, any clue that the Switch presentation was happening. So he told me he's like, "You gotta see this shit," and I'm like, "What, what are you talking about?" And he's like, "Super Mario Odyssey. It's a new uh, oh. open world Mario game." And I'm like, "Are you shitting me?" Oh so yeah, I, I was just like, "Whoa!" So we, yeah, he gave me the link to it, and I saw it. And I was like, "Holy shit! This could honestly rival Super Mario 64. It it has a chance." Yeah, that is a really, really big thing of me to say right now. That is a very big thing. But it actually really could. I'm yeah. not even joking. I'm literally going to go that far and say that. No, that my nipple hurt. <laughs> well, so that was interesting. But, um, yeah, so the... <laughs> what the fuck, Joe? I want to say... Oh. <laughs> yeah, the game. Yeah, the game. Uh, it looks cool. It makes me want to go to Las Vegas. It's not to say Pimp Bowser. Pimp Bowser is awesome. No, I wouldn't say pimp. He's just very, very dapper. <laughs> look, at uh, the, look, at missed that one. <laughs> no. oh, yeah. Mario also jumps on his hat, which is a separate entity right now. It's yeah, it's a new mechanic where he can throw out his hat not just as an attack, but also uses an extra platform. God damn, it's like Captain America. <laughs> yeah, except it's not. But, um, yeah, so it's it's got a lot of really cool, interesting things. Um, and new bosses. Fair new bosses. Way. Yep, new bosses. Um, yeah, it really does look like the uh, the Ooh. sequel to Super Mario 64 we all really wanted. I, I really think so. Yeah. Now, again, exactly. this is just me saying that uh, just partly out of pure excitement as well as, you know, speculation here. But I, I honestly think so. Hold on, um, was, was it that Leah just asked? She has raised her hand. I have a question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's, what's your question? Uh, it was about the Resident Evil Vendetta. Or, you know, we find I haven't really looked at anything Resident Evil related in a while, so it's, yeah. I'm, I'm very unfamiliar with uh, a lot of the stuff. It's about Resident Evil Vendetta Trailer 1 and Matt Mercer is returning to voice Leon Kennedy. More cast is not announced yet. Oh, okay. That's good. You know, yeah, uh, it's going to be sad. Returning yeah. back. Is, uh, I, don't, I don't think they can get anybody else to do it. They just figured Resident Evil Chris Retard. Chris no. Retard. <laughs> Who's Chris Retard? <laughs> you. <laughs> you <know. laughs> no, I'd rather be honked because every time I look at the mirror, it cracks. <laughs> oh, God, <damn>. uh, <laughs> the, in short, I, I feel that um, they only have one voice for uh, Leon. I feel with that they should stick with that uh, that guy. And of course, Romy is dying. In other news, yay! Yippee! <laughs> oh my God, my eyes are watering. <laughs> yeah, Jack, I agree with Jackson on this one. It really could turn. Yeah. It, could be and a they, huge they, contender they, they for my nipples for, for how much I twisted them during the um during the watch. I was oh, like, oh my god, I was I was losing it. I was twisting my nipples like I walked with a hand dial. Man, <laughs> Not hey, hey Lucas, can I ask you a question? What? How many hands are on a digital clock? Three technically. <laughs> and you got the little, you got the second, you got the second. Come on, you get how many hands? No, wait. How many hands are on a di 
digital clock. On a digital clock. Zero. <laughs> what there is you go. Three? <laughs> no, I thought you meant analog clock, you dumb shit. I say analog. I thought you said analog. <laughs> Just just snuggle with it. Everything will be over soon. Yeah, I got my terrible towel right here. See? Every every kiss begins with she. Man. <laughs> That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, my terrible towel is awesome. My dad has one to like to have a word with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he told me he used to go to games and get whipped in the face with those things, and he nearly fucking killed somebody. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most obnoxious thing ever. Man. And you know what? I was there. I had to agree. Long I, I, I was going to say, <laughs> Super Mario Fan L3 said, Super Mario Odyssey looks a lot more fun than Lost Levels. <laughs> Man. <laughs> well, yeah. <I> mean... <laughs> Dude, Lost Levels is like a fucking ROM hack. That's how hard that game is. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. Man. Lucas, I know you can get that because you have the Wii U Virtual Console. I want you to try the Lost Levels. I make a surge on that. I will... And I don't mean the Super Mario All Star version, not the Super Nintendo uh, graphics engine. I'm talking about the Famicom version. Yeah. Can you get on the the virtual concert? I don't know. Yes, you can. No, yes, you can. Really? That version. All yes, right, you can. It's, only, it's not that much. It's only five bucks. And I'll, have to, I'll have to look at it. All I can say is best of luck to you. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, though, Shane, do you have more topics to cover? Uh, not exactly. I mean, oh, actually, if you want to do, want me to do the new, um, the, yes. uh, Let's okay. do a new segment. You want to do it? A new, new segment? All right. Yes. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. I told Lucas about this one. I think I told you, Romy, as well, too. And you yep. guys are totally on board with this. So, mm-hmm. Every week, well, let me let me start from the very beginning here. I had a thought, <laughs> as I usually do, that I, when I used to watch the painting game a long time ago, very very long time ago, I liked the uh, bits where you know they talked about, uh, you know, fitness, bodybuilding, and you know, <laughs> working out. Uh, I, yeah. I, me as someone who is you know very. Uh, very uh, retarded, I guess, for the lack of a better term when it comes to that kind of thing. I found it absolutely uh, fascinating. So wow. here, I came up with a new thing that I like to call Letters to the Swolmeister. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, did that on <laughs> we did that on Muscle Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, and of course, Romy is going to, of course, Lucas is uh, is uh, the Swolmeister, and Jerome will be joining in as, as I like to call him, Mr. Steelflex. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so, now, we're going to start this first one. We're going to start our first uh, first episode of Letters to the Swolmeister with a question a friend of mine had asked uh, once before. And it's about, you know, living healthy and such like that. This is the general stuff both of you can say uh, your uh, piece about this. I don't know about right. living healthy. More like Lucas. He's more of the fitness type. I'm more you know, of the... Well, well, that this all is, you well, this all comes, you do is lift weights and eat protein. You're like... Rah, 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 rah. Pretty much. Well, uh, this, well, you can still put your input on this one. Okay, this, okay. Uh, this, okay is, this involves exercise as well, too. So, input, Anyways, right. let me... Lucas is ass. Yeah, let me just go ahead and... Get the letter here. Uh, All right. Let's see. All right. Dear Swolmeister and Mr. Steelflex. (laughs) All right, off to a great start. It's a clog, motherfucker. Yes. Thank you, Metallica. Yes, thank you. All right. I love that quote. I am looking to shed some of this huge amount of weight and change my life around. I am looking, uh, I am someone who is at very long hours in front of my screen and with loads of computer work, so it's difficult for me to get up and out often. My financial situation doesn't allow me to go to the gym very often at all, so I'm definitely in a bind. I have but a few questions. First off, what are some of the uh, good workouts I can start off with from the, uh, that are best for beginners? Which food should I be eating to lose weight? And what other information would be useful to me to start off with a new habit? 
One thing to note, I don't go out in my neighborhood often since my neighbors uh, who have dogs are highly irresponsible and do not keep them on leashes. Oh, you, fuck. You can put the pieces together as why I don't want to walk around often. Huge thanks in advance. Yeah. So what do you guys have to say? All right, I'm going to start this off with the diet portion because diet is the key. You need to eat really well if you want to uh, get lose weight. Okay. The biggest thing I suggest is eating lots of chicken. No, no Super Mario fan. No Nutrisystem. That suit sucks. <laughs> okay. It all depends on your calorie intake. You don't want to starve yourself because in yeah. order to burn calories, you're going to need calories. Yeah, and if you if you starve yourself like what I'm doing, this is bad. Don't do this, people. That's even worse than eating too much, be honest. Well, calories, I don't know, but I'm going to lose weight on this one because though. It's almost there to that flat stomach, is what I'm saying for this tape while I'm taping this episode. So, there you go with that. Let's continue on. Actually, yeah, because well, your, your body goes... Either. Yeah, yeah. Your, your body goes into starvation mode and essentially takes in more calories than with, with you eat, so... Yeah. 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 So, that's... that. See, I know something, too. It's interesting. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, continue. Shane knows, his, Shane knows his knowledge because he says to keep his hose in check. Yeah. Make sure they're healthy and... Hey, some of them like BBWs, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, though, I'm going to get into this because my things that I want you to eat, start eating are pretty much you want to eat multiple meals a day, multiple small meals every couple hours when you can, or have some stuff at, home, at, at work when you can. Right now, the biggest things are having chicken or fish with brown rice, and yes, Romy, vegetables. Hell, well, actually, yes. If I had to be objective here. Yes. Ma'am. Yeah. Do you need vegetables? No, you're just being up to you. Vegetables are broccoli, <laughs> cauliflower, peppers, red, red, green, or yellow bell peppers. Hmm. You can also have celery, very like not as much celery though. Carrots, um, fennel is another good vegetable. Wait, what was it called? Fennel. F e n n e l. Oh, fennel. That's why I used to pour gas in my car. Jerome, stop it. It's called fennel. <laughs> Man. Dumb shit. <laughs> fennel. I'll only spell it for you. Man. God damn it. I even messed my own spelling up. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you spell it. The second one is how you spell it. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> fennel. And then also... And sweet potatoes as well are your big things. Brown rice is your big carb that you need to have. Make sure you cook a lot of it up, then proportion it to different meals of the day. Like, you could probably cook around 8 to 10 servings worth, which would probably be the best thing, and have it probably twice a day. Have, like, a protein shake or a, or a protein bar. <laughs> yes, I can count the alphabet, too. I was laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much mainly what you want to start off with is the base. Like your fish should be either um salmon or very uh, very rarely the tilapia is very rare, but um salmon you could also have um <clears throat> another good lean source of protein would probably be pork. Like red meat. Red meat can be very, very. The problem with red meat is it does have a little bit of extra calorie. Like red meat's a very rare thing that you should have. Like red meat's not bad once in a while, but mm. like if you want to get lean meat, the lean meat's better a little bit, in my opinion. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, limit to yourself to probably around two thousand to probably around twenty five hundred calories a day. It's a pretty good start. I'll say um, two thousand, yeah. Um, for well, it depends on your weight. It all home. depends on your weight too, by the way. Absolutely, it does depend on your weight. Um, also at home, the base exercise you can do are push-ups, sit-ups. You can also okay. do um, squats at home, like with like like um, just like body squats is another good way to do it. You can do um, bicep dips. You can do um. That's where I begin. Yeah, that would pretty much be your best one. Uh, the one exercise I don't recommend are from, um, from a local like sports store. You can also grab like little weights or stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. Now, I, can, I can see Lucas with more, a, more repetitions. I can see Lucas with like a, a pink sweatband and pink d uh, dumbbells in each hand. <laughs> well, my, my mom has pink uh, dumbbells too, the little ones. <laughs> so, well, I mean, this is something that Gary would need more than you than me. No, his would be blue. 
Remember? No, still. I definitely want blue. Gary needs pink. Uh, it, he looks uh, more like Lil Mac size. Little Mac. Well, yeah, look what he did to fucking Ball Bull and uh, Mr. Sandman. <laughs> Super Macho Man. Super <laughs> Macho Man. Uh, the one exercise I don't recommend because I think I hate them because they can fuck up your rotator cuff, and those are tricep dips. Right. And I don't mean the tricep dips where you, you, you keep your legs straight onto, like, another uh, bench, and you go down body. I'm talking about the ones where you, like, you keep your body straight. It's more for the chest. Yeah, I'm not doing I, that. I don't recommend the body straight ones. I just do ones where you're, like, your feet are elevated, and you're doing, like, these, like you're doing up here yep. and you're coming down. That's... Okay. And I was going to say... Jog in the early morning, but if you're if you're fucking actually no, that is good that if their dogs are on a leash, it'll force you to run faster. <laughs> oh my god, man! <laughs> wow. wow. Well, you, you, honestly, the thing is, I can't be mad because well, you're not wrong. <laughs> man. <laughs> oh god. So, anyways, uh, would there anything as you mentioned before? Um, you said if there was any other um tips for somebody who um is getting into this for the very first time. <laughs> Man. Metallica Mania, would you stop? I'm not going to make a, put on a wig and try <laughs> to get exercise in like Richard Simmons. No, thank you. That'd be hilarious. That would be hilarious to do as a joke, but maybe in the future, maybe. We'll see. But anyway, though, for other people who want to start at this, it's definitely, you got to be committed to it. you got to be committed to doing, to eating better. That's the big thing. Diet is 65% of it. Cardio is ten, and then car, um, wor- working out is probably around. In terms of losing weight, five. yes. Yeah, because diet's a big thing. In terms of gaining, uh, like gaining like muscle mass, no, <laughs> I disagree with that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. gaining muscle mass, but losing weight—that's pretty much your. Well, stuff. Losing weight, it's like it's all almost all of it is diet. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. I don't think you could last with a diet, though. I'm sorry. Me? Fuck no. Because you don't like veggies. Fuck veggies yeah. would be good for you. I tell them to shove, your, shove those fucking plants up your butt. <laughs> no. Why am I not surprised? You need vegetables. I if your God, eyesight's I... get bad, or what if, like, what if your eyesight gets bad? You need more carrots, and your eye, it'll help your eyesight. I think that's actually a myth. Like, I've been saying it's, like, a good protein for, I, I thought it was. Carrots are good, but I don't think they do anything for your eyes, actually. I thought no. they did. No, no, that no, no, no. That that was a myth created by um, British pilots, I think. Really? Yeah. That's strange. Um, Joe, if Joe's hearing this, he he can probably um, correct me on that if I'm wrong, because he he knows things like that, especially when it comes to military stuff. Um, we'll see about that. But uh, all right. So, um, what's the next question? Or oh, did he have anything else on the letter? No, nah, no. Nah, that was that was it. That was uh. That was pretty much it. Oh, okay. Awesome. So that was, it was mostly towards Lucas because it, it's about losing weight rather than, you know, lifting heavy iron like I do. So Yeah, well, I've got a few of a uh, few things here, but we'll cover it weekly. And I know the next one here that I've got, um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely okay. mass-related, so. Okay, and by the way, Lucas, uh, yeah, when I was doing one-handed shoulder presses, Lucas, what? Oh, One-handed yeah. shoulder presses, seventy twelve, seventy five ten, and eighty seven. Oh, One-handed, good. pretty uh, good, my ass. Man, like excellent. Um, <laughs> hold on, Joe, Joe just came back and he's he, he missed what I said uh, about uh, the fact there was the myth about the um, eating carrots is good for your eyes. Uh, I believe that was uh, a myth created by uh, British pilots. Uh, I'm not sure if Joe would know about that or not, but see, I, I'm, I, I, my mind is filled with useless fucking information. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, like mitochondria, so, so powerhouse of the cell. cell. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm never, I'm never gonna be able to use this in any way, shape, or form. Yet I don't. Nope, me either. That's why school's overrated as shit. <laughs> Still. Well, mm. speaking of useless information, <clears throat> do we do? Film plots explain horribly. Yes. I'm, I'm down for that. Let's get on. All right. Yeah. I created yeah. a good... <laughs> right. And let's begin. These are some that... These are all these I created myself. So let's give it a shot, shall we? Right. Here we yeah. go. Still. Let's see how bad I'm going to fuck this up. All right. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. 
A fake movie about a fake tour. A fake tour? Vacation? Mm-mm. When I thought tour, I thought Jurassic Park. A tour, or a tour, as you can say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they would, it, Jurassic Park was fake, and it was a fake tour in a sense. But the movie, okay, the movie itself, like, yeah, it's, it's a work of fiction, but it wasn't fake. If that makes any sense. Oh, so I, so, oh, I was right about the carrots thing. It was propaganda. Anyways, um, okay, so I, I, I got that wrong then. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God, Metallica Mania got it. Real damn. Tap. Wow. This is final tap. Very good. Wow. Damn, oh, yeah. Um. What was I gonna? Oh yeah, Jerome. Though before after this, I want you to before we get into our main thing. I want. I was gonna have you do the villains thing as well. Okay. Oh uh, wait. The you want me to do the most violent superheroes or my my ten my personal ten best uh, villains of all time? We're gonna do both, but after the film plus thing. Oh okay. Okay. okay next one. I uh, turn it up to eleven. Hell yeah. Here we go. Uh, a man with a beautiful voice can't get laid because he's hideously ugly. Oh, God. Um, story of my life. <laughs> man. That definitely is not true, Shane. No, don't be me because I can sing out of my butthole. <laughs> man. Actually, did you know there is a butt plug uh, for that kind of thing? <laughs> what? Yeah. You ever heard of a guy named Will the Farter? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I... I'm not sure if Romy saw it. Go on ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to you, uh, Lucas. Hang on. I got I gotta get it off my phone because I saved it just for this occasion. Super Mario fan guess the elephant man. Uh, no. All right. Man. I think I'm I, I'm trying to think of the name, but. No, no. I don't, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. I, I, I got nothing. The answer is the Phantom of the Opera. <clears throat> wow. Oh, damn. Oh, man. <laughs> it's always one of those things where it's like, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, that's right. <laughs> Every single oh. time. Just like, I okay. can't guess yeah. that. This is a good one. <laughs> a biker and a police officer fight for custody of a child. Catch me if you can? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> there you go, I'll Lucas. I'll read again. A biker and a police officer fight for custody of a child over a child. Was this the one with Robert Downey and um Robert nope. Downey Jr. and Zach Galifianakis? Nope. Really? Oh, dude! Oh, that was a rip off of uh, tr- Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Wow. Man. Yeah. Do you want me to uh, send it to you, Romy? What I just? <laughs> Oh, no, go ahead, yeah. Okay, because I was pretty certain I showed it before. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Oh, God. There we go. Man. <coughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. The recto flute. <laughs> That's okay, I'll, I'll read this one more time. A biker and a police officer fight for custody over a child. Um... Biker and a police officer. Surprised no one set this in the film. I, 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 don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Okay, the answer is Terminator 2. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. Oh. For fuck's sake. I should have guessed it. <laughs> okay, this is actually, I could not think of a film plot explained horribly, but this is actually a plot to a movie, but it may sound like it come off horribly. Here we go. Okay. A homosexual steals money from a bank to pay for his lover's uh, sex change operation. What the shit? Um, <laughs> man, I have never heard of anything like this before. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, dude. And this is a fucking excellent movie. Is it really? Yes, it is. Oh, I don't know, man. You got it. And it's based on a true story. And on a true story. Holy shit! Um, <laughs> broke back mountain. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> them cowboys look something strange I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. let me tell you something we went I'm, camping I'm stuck on this one <laughs> you're up all night I'm sorry I, I, I'm stuck on this it one. was snow and we had to keep each other warm somehow Man. <laughs> Man. No. okay if you don't know I'll say it yeah, yeah I got Fires Club no oh. it's, 
Oh, God. No, no, that's not the answer. The answer is Dog Day Afternoon. Oh, Dog man. Day Afternoon. With Al Pacino. Damn. I, I've never heard of it. Okay. Uh, let's do, uh, next one. A cop, a scientist, and a sailor go on a quest to kill a monster. A sailor, a scientist, and a what go off on a quest? A cop. A cop. A scientist and a sailor go on a quest to kill a monster. I don't know why I thought League of an Extraordinary Gentleman, but that's not right. <laughs> oh, Super Mario fan got it. Jaws. Damn it. Uh, Very well, good. Oh, well, let's uh, let us try to guess it before you know the the chat does. All right. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, if they say if they say something, and you know, they got it right. Just keep it to yourself for a bit. Okay, until, Gary. Until Gary gave me this one, and I got I guessed it right, and I wanted to use this from Gary. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. After the passing of his father, his retarded son takes over the company. <laughs> the chocolate factory. Uh uh. <laughs> Charlie was <wasn't> retarded. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, okay, so. Charted son takes over the business. Uh, Green man, no. Force Gump. No. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't take over a business, did he? I thought he did. The shrimp business. No, that was something else. I think. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Um, shit, you got me on this one. I have. I have no idea. Lucas. I don't know. Metallica Mania got it right. Tommy Boy. Man. Oh, nice. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, wait, what? It was Tommy Boy, Metallica oh. Mania guy. Right? Oh, okay, yeah, no, no. Yeah. For some reason, why did why did Brett say "God damn you, Shane"? What did I do? <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, tons of money and effort. To, uh, tons of money and effort to save an enthusiastic but lonely potato farmer. Man. <laughs> this one I drew uh I drew uh inspiration from what I found online. Man, okay. Goodwill hunting? No. I have no idea. I'm stuck on this I, one. Gary uh, Lucas, did you fucking fart or something? I did not fart. I don't know why <laughs> I'm just scratching my you face. Probably, you <laughs> you yeah. probably heard my phone. <laughs> If you guys don't know, let me know. I'm, I'm yeah, I, I, got, I got nothing, man. Okay. The answer, the Martian. Man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is another one I drew inspiration for, but I kind of made my own other way. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Everybody sings nonstop, thus leads to everyone dying. <laughs> Let's move. Lay Miserable. That is correct. <laughs> Thank you. I finally got man. one. You got it. Oh, my God. That was funny. Okay. Two women fight for their lives over a pair of shoes. The hell? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the way I put it. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> white chicks? No, two women fight for their lives over a pair of shoes. What, white chicks? Fuck that movie. <sighs> God damn, that movie is so fucking racist. <clears throat> I don't know, man. That's, I'll uh... This too, unfortunately. I got another. Uh, okay. Well, Metallica Manic is on fire because he got it right. The Wizard of Oz. Oh. Uh, yeah, one sense. of my favorite movies of all time, man. Come on. Get to you are. Okay. okay. Next one. Uh, this is a good one. Man has a dream about saving a world with oxygen. The happening. No. God damn it. A man has a dream of saving a world. No, uh, a what, man. What are the worlds? A man has a dream of saving a world with oxygen. War of saving war. a world with oxygen. Saving a world with oxygen in a dream, yep. In a dream. Rome, isn't that War of the Worlds? No. God damn it. Well, yeah, I thought that was because when the, or the invaders, like, weak to oxygen? Yeah, but it wasn't a dream. And that's true, that wasn't a dream. Uh... 28 days later? It wasn't a dream either. Uh, good guess, Jackson, but not quite. That was a good guess, though. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Joe. <laughs> no chemical romance. <laughs> There's a story behind that as well, too, but anyway. Chloroform? 
quarter form of the movie. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I got nothing, man. I, see, I, I'm, I suck at this, but it's still fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, the answer is Total Recall. Oh, the chick with three boobs movie. Oh, okay. I'll be fucking an alien like Captain Kirk. All right. Discussing fast food can lead to some insane, crazy shit. Supersize me. No. How are you um, going to go to the White Castle? No. Uh, okay. Zombie Land? No. Oh, but that happened with a burger. Mm. Yeah, but those were my two guesses. Yeah, I got oh, shit, dude. Disgusting fast food can lead to some insane. Kirk cra- Burger! No. God damn it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm all, I'm all right, I'm I'm stumped. The answer is Pulp Fiction. Oh my oh, god. Oh fucking A. <laughs> right. oh. Next one. A young kill a young kill. A young kid steals uncle's jewelry and goes at lengths to destroy it. Looper. No. God damn it. No, that wasn't Looper. Um I thought it was like a kid steals ju- father's jewelry. No, no, kid steals uncle's jewelry. Uncle's. It goes at length to destroy it. Chronicle? No. No. Ah. <laughs> uh, God, these are all evading me. I have no idea. I think, uh, I don't know. I'm so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, man okay. steals uncle... Uncle's ring. Man steals uncle's jewelry and goes at length to destroy it. Lord of the oh Rings. My God. I, Very good, Shane. Oh, fucking hey. All right. Next one. A fam. Uh, a family neglects their young. A family neglects their n- young one, thus leads him to become an out of control psychopath. Man of Steel. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Home Alone. That is correct. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, two guys turn fatty acids into a cleaning product. Good burger. No. <laughs> what? That's not a goddamn. Lucas, what happened? I don't know. I thought that was a good burger somewhat. Good burger. Welcome to Good Burger. <laughs> oh, I'm the Good Burger. Can I take you all oh, there? Yeah. Let's take it for that last. Continue on. Um. Hmm. You, I don't know. You're. you're yeah. I'm stumped on this one too, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I got nothing. Metallica Maniac, you're on fucking fire. He's right again. Fight Club. God. Oh, I should have known it, man. Jesus. Christ, Metallica Maniac. God damn, man. I'm like, Lucas, you have a brain. <laughs> man, I don't have a brain. You're a brain, you motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. R E E. Okay, here we go. A thug on the street gets beaten up on nationwide television and becomes an icon. Malcolm X? Malcolm X. I don't know why, but I suddenly thought about uh, Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> that, that poor guy. He need, They need to stop making, uh, remaking Spider-Man movies. I'm pretty sure he's pretty <laughs> tired of dying. <laughs> it's like it's almost as bad as uh, um, uh, Tom, Tom Cruise in Edge of Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Uh, One of my favorite uh, fucking movies. Right now because I was coughing so much. Ugh. Uh, I'll say it again. A thug on the street gets beaten up on nationwide television and becomes an icon. <laughs> Uncle Ben, the movie. Actually, you know what, Samuel One World? That is actually a good guess, but not the right. He said kick ass. I was like, that's a good guess. You know, that was, I was actually just about to uh, answer that. But okay, well, I'm wrong. I, I do not uh, have a guess, unfortunately, for this one. Shane, you don't have one. Yeah, nah, I got nothing. <laughs> I, my, my only uh, guess got disproven, so. But, Metallica Maniac, I have a feeling that he's fucking cheating. Because he got it right again. <laughs> what is oh, it's Rocky. Oh, oh, no. How the fuck is he getting all these? Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, an obnoxious child goes to his grandparents' house and makes his grandpa's life a living hell. The 
the visit? No, that's more like the other way around. Uh, it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So, kid goes to grandfather's house and makes his life a living hell. Makes his grandpa's life a living hell. I don't know why I thought the orphan. Nope, not the orphan, but that's a good guess, though. Yeah. The twist on that was really fucking weird. That whole movie is fucking weird. Um, well, there was two versions. I don't know if there was the original was really good, and then you had the remake. I'm just like, really? I think I'm thinking of the remake, because I don't think I've seen the original. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I got nothing. <laughs> Joe got it right. Dennis the Menace. Wow. Oh, wow. He's been... You know what the funny thing is? He's said Dennis the Menace on the past three ones in a row now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, I'll do two, a couple more. Okay. Let me... Uh, okay, here's a good one. Men in, blue, men in Blue Brothers outfits are diamond robbers. Man. Hell of High Water? Nope. No. No. They never wore. Yeah, yeah they didn't steal diamonds either. either. You're right. They weren't diamond robbers. Um, the tower? No. The tower? That was like a heist movie. Oh. Man. All I can think of is just Payday, but that wasn't a movie. <laughs> Man. No, not Payday. Payday no. was, 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 was. They were extorting a guy. There's these fucking uh, muscle bound bodybuilders who were idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what it could be. Yeah, I, I got nothing. The, the town. Not a uh, decent guess, but not really. Uh, okay, you're not sure? Nope. The answer is Reservoir Dogs. Oh, oh fuck. God. Okay, that makes sense. Fine. That oh. I should have guessed that because uh, I remember you made that reference when I was uh, doing one of my best. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It's like, oh, yeah, you could have been from Reservoir Dogs. I'm like, yeah. Um, I gotta think of a good one. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, I think this might be the last one. Here we go. Okay, last one. A, lo yeah. a lonely guy desperately wants to fuck a sexy voice from an app. Her? Fucking hey, you both said at the same time. <laughs> That's correct. Nice. So wow. we both. So we have a tie. Uh, I think Lucas. Is... I think Lucas got. No, I. I have two. Lucas got, <laughs> got three. <laughs> How do? You, oh, he has the uh um. Uh, what did he guess? He, I don't remember exactly, but Actually, I know Actually, I do have one more. This is a good one. Okay. A grown man and his mother are the same person. Jack and Jill. No. <laughs> That's his sister, you dumb sh... <laughs> don't ever bring up that movie again, you mother. <laughs> Look, it's the movie. <laughs> That'd be a great movie, actually. I think I would be. I'd be laughing my ass off. Not uh, with it, at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd be laughing with it too. I would. Uh, okay, a grown man and his mother are the same person. A grown man and his mother are the same person. Uh huh. Let go. Man. Oh my God, Lucas got it. Yeah. Oh man. Yes. 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 Uh, and I had this one, but this might be too easy. Uh. A kidnapped beautiful woman goes insane by having conversation with house products. Beauty. Oh, uh, Beauty and Beast. Oh my god, you fucking nailed that one too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no more. No more. You, you get, these are make, getting too goddamn easy for you. All right, then now, Jerome, go over your best, the, the two lists that you had. Okay. And then we'll go to the final. Uh, yeah, that's fair enough. Please, um, up my door. As for, as for Deadpool 2, they found their cable. Did they really? Wow. It's. It's uh, Pierce Bronson. Really? That's a good hmm. guess, actually. Wow. I was praying for uh, Stephen Lang. I wanted him. I thought he'd be perfect as Cable, but we'll see where that goes. Yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, is that Goldie? No, oh, I boo. Oh, I love the boo. Come on, Goldie. Hey, Goldie. Come on. Oh, he's like, no, he's like, no, fuck off, man. <laughs> man. Okay. Uh, watch Mojo's 10 most violent superheroes of all time. Here we go. I guess number one was number one. Now, I think this was shared by Double Nine. Okay. Man. All right. Number 10 is The Incredible Hulk. Man. Hmm. Number nine is Batman. Number eight is Rorschach. Rorschach from Watchmen. Number seven is Red Hood, Jason Todd. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, number six is Deadpool. 
Yeah, Romy should be Cable. <laughs> nah. uh, yeah, Goldie is awesome, by the way. Okay, number five, you're probably thinking, really? Remember, comic books... Okay, the movie, he really wasn't. It was more of a cartoon, but in the comics, he was fucking vicious. The Mask. Ooh. Ooh. You know, Jim Carrey's The Mask? Yeah, the, the wow. graphic novel was fucking brutal. Still. Yeah, definitely. Uh, number four, Wolverine. Wow. Makes sense to me. Number three, Hit Girl. Wow. Really? Number two, Judge Dredd. Okay. And number one, and this is without question, number one, The Punisher. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's, I, I feel that that's right. Uh, the They had honorable mentions. Uh, this is from Watch Mojo. Their honorable mentions was Spawn, Ghost Rider, and Blade. Good list. Finally, they got a list right. Yeah, that is actually a pretty good list. And for me, I did the, the 10 greatest movie villains of all time. I had to go from the very past. Leading up to now, it was harder to cram it down to defrag it to 10, but here is what I got. Okay. Here we go. Now, these are not in any particular order, okay? These are so almost in alphabetical order. All right. Amon Go... Oh, I thought I heard uh, feedback. Amon Goeth from Schindler's List. Oh. Very nice. He was played by Ralph Fiennes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, my lord. He was vicious. Okay. Next one. Annie, Wil uh, Annie Wilkes in Misery. Rob Reiner's Misery. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you something. You'll never look at ankles to see him again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course not. <sighs> okay. Oh, my God. Just the fucking sound it makes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, right. man. Yeah, no, I'm next. Next one. Anton Shiger, No Country for Old Men. Ah, interesting. Very oh nice. my god. Now, this is what I think about No Country for Old Men. The first hour and a half of this movie is like, it's a 10 out of 10. It's one of the greatest fucking movies I have ever fucking seen in my life. And then the last 30 minutes is bullshit. Oh, really? Yep. Blue balls, bullshit. Oh, that sucks, Man. dude. Uh-huh. Okay, um, you know what? I'm going to save these three because these are my top three. So next one, Jaws the Shark. Okay. Wow. That's an interesting pick. Goddamn right, man. Bigger boat. Or as uh, Lucas said, I'm going to need a bigger dick. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, Kirby would know, but that's a different story. Kirby okay. is right here. <laughs> <laughs> I just say he would know. Of course he'd be right there, because he would know. He's right there, yeah. Exact. Thank you, C.A. Cougar. Um, that would have easily been my, not only on my number one of 2007, oh. but in my top five best films of the decade. But that last 30 minutes was just mm. fucking just pathetic. So. Uh, uh, next one. Louise Fletcher for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Oh, okay. Wow. She plays the evil nurse. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I wish I could say the same, Nick Canino, but the fucking, the fucking 30, last 30 minutes was pathetic. Um, The Wicked Witch of the West, The Wizard of Oz. Good choice. Good choice. That was amazing to see The Wicked Witch of the West, The Wizard of Oz. Approaches the movie. I want to see her in the future, but between the ways of us, when she's in the Jet Foss. My movie take. You know, let's just see that happening. Good to you, are. Ma, another good pick. Mm -hmm. My mom dressed up as the. Uh, oh my god, this is a true story. Because my mom was going to a Halloween party and I came out and she was in her. Wicked Witch of the West outfit, and it scared the shit out of me to where I just stared and looked. My eyes bug out, and my mom started fucking laughing. Because it looked just like it. And my mom's like laughing. I was like, I almost about to get my fucking baseball. <laughs> oh, that was not nice. Come on. Oh, man. Even though uh, she was played by Margaret Hamilton, you know. And when she did, uh, she was a former school teacher at the time. And mainly got divorced and... Um, 
and then th and and still have a child with her. You know, that's just me, of course. Let's just continue on. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, next one, the T one thousand Terminator Two Judgment Day. Sure. I definitely agree with that. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. love I love it because it's liquid metal. It can get in my insides easier. <laughs> Where's Aaron Taylor Johnson for Nocturnal Animals? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> that goddamn retard? <laughs> He's nothing but a fucking redneck, retarded comic book character. Or, or cartoon character. That's all he was. Fuck him. Uh, next one, the Terminator. From the original. Wow. Ooh. Wow, yeah. Oh, and he's got the funniest line now. He's like, you got Dick Cannon or what? He's like, fuck you, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is my top three. <sighs> Number three, the Joker in the Dark Knight. Yeah. All right, good. Hell yeah. Uh, Mary, I can only boil it down to ten. The second one, Darth Vader. Wow. I definitely respect Star that. Star Wars, yep. And... My number one, this was also the American Film Institute's number one as well. Wow. This yeah. was just perfection. My number one is Dr. Hannibal Lecter, The Science of the Lambs. I can definitely agree with wow. that. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely understand that. that. Oh, my God. He's one of those villains that, like, you can't help but love. Right. Despite the fact, why? Because unlike other certain films that involve cannibalisms, the yeah, upright, I mentioned that motherfucking movie, he's a cannibal, but he's also clever. He's insightful. He's a genius. He's a mastermind. And wow. he's engaging. Every time this motherfucker's on screen, you don't know what he is going to do. It's just like, his character was perfection. Yeah. Wow. Um, oh, Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Man. Wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, whoops. I actually have 11. Oh, oh, fuck. oh actually, you know who's another great villain um, that you didn't mention, Jerome? <laughs> Christopher Walken in the Oogie Loves movie. Oh, for fuck. <laughs> no, no. It's not, not a good villain. So, well, well, actually, I, I saw mm, a few reviews from Oogie Loves movie. Bob Shaw review and uh, the Whitmire's Weekend Reviews review of that. And I'm like, okay. I won't it was kind of catchy to me, but let's continue on. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was, okay, I thought of a no I actually had 11. Uh, okay. But I don't know. Well, uh, and uh, another one. Hans Gruber, Die Hard. That's another good one. Mr. McClanning. Wow, well, another my... good one too, Jerome, that we both absolutely love. Another one we both absolutely love? Jared Leto from the Joker. From the wow. Jared Leto's Joker. Yeah, he is a joke, no pun intended. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> or, what was it, Hans Gruber? He's like, Mr. McClanning, where are my detonators? <laughs> Man. Every guy, I don't fuck. So there you have it. All right, let's move on. He was a true villain. Yeah, because he's cancer. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck him, dude. I'm seriously. Uh, see, okay, hey, Adam Sandler, you see that? You see that cliff? Jump off of it. <laughs> Still. Oh, man. Oh, C.A. Cougar, you fucking troll. What about Lex Luthor from Bad Shit versus Super Fuck Don of Asgard? Right? Man. Shit, I just don't want to like it. Well, um. Shane O'Mac? Floor is yours, man. Yes, All right. So, in honor of our 69th episode, yes. we're going to go over the various <laughs> sex laws here in the United States. <laughs> because we know this was going to lead up to that. Nah. We know this was going to happen. So, let me see. Let me see. I gotta get the. Uh... What the hell is that? Well, guess what the fucking Sam Hell are you doing? <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing? Lucas! I had to wipe off my, I had to wipe off my computer. I wipe off my computer too when I press fire. I press fire onto my, my screenshot and then boom! 
Shane, come on. You guys, come on, Shane. Like, I can't be loud because I already got bitched at. So. Aww. I wanted you to the part of the fuck up. I'm trying to crap. No, I would, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now uh, let's see i've got i got two separate lists and it's going to cover um just a 10 list and then there's one for each state Man. oh i want to hear this right now okay let's start with one with each state all right Man. first starting off with alabama yeah. incestuous marriage is in fact legal what mm. oh for f- well, that, no. explains how, that explains how Gary was born. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, so oh, all that true. stuff that you hear about Alabama, you know, uh, it's true. about its national bird is to fly, yeah, that might actually be kind of true. Well, well no. if she's your stepmom, she's not really your mom. And she's no, still... no, but it's still kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, no, I bet you Woody Allen got married there. <laughs> all right, next one. Wow. Oh, Alaska. <laughs> oh, that's the biggest state. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> All right. So moose are banned from having sex on city streets. Oh, come on. They want to bump ugly, too, man. Let them have their fun, assholes. Still. <laughs> oh, next is Arizona. I, I think I know what you're going to say, but go ahead. You may not have more than two dildos in the same house. Fucking knew it. God damn, I heard more than two dildos. <laughs> My ears. No, 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 that's not true. It's a, it's a sculpture. <laughs> what was a football? You know, like, you know that for a fact. Back football. If that was football, I want to see Matt Ryan or Aaron Rodgers throw a spar over that. <laughs> yeah, and the field goals this time, guys, an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, let's see. <laughs> Fucking Arkansas. All right, let's see. Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas. Flirtation and lavicious banter between men and women on the streets may result in a 30 day, 30 day jail time in what? Little Rock. Yeah. Yep. What the fuck? He's like, hey, honey, hey, nice tits. Woo! <laughs> oh, fuck. Man, I can't seem to get get out of jail. What are you in here for? Oh, so she had nice tits. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what are you in here for, buddy? Well, you know, it's like, what's the best parts of a what's the best body parts for a woman? It's like titties. He goes, my man. Man. Well, you should know Lucas. Come <laughs> you, goddamn motherfucker. <laughs> Um, don't worry, uh, Pepsi Man, we're gonna get to that. Oh, no, no, we will, we will, yeah. Yeah, so... Alright, California. There's two of them here. It is illegal to sell stuffed items resembling breasts, a.k.a. booby pillows, within 1,000 feet of a highway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know what the fuck to say to that. I yeah. don't know either. I, I don't know either. Dude, Super Mario fan says something that is so perfect. He's like... Wait, hold on a second. How? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Super Mario fans said... Shut up, Lucas. <laughs> you look like one of those fucking fishes. Don't worry, be happy now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how, is someone, how, is, how is someone supposed to get laid if you can't flirt? Thank you! That's a good, legitimate question. It says, on the streets. Yeah. Don't fucking matter. You can go. You can go inside a bar. You can go inside a department store. As Still. long as it's not on the see. This is loopholes through everything. God damn, that's so fucking dumb. Anyways, okay. Uh, uh, as you were, Mister. Uh, okay, so in Walnut, California, no man shall dress as a woman without the written permission of a sheriff. Wow. <laughs> Gary. Sucks for you, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> oh shit. <sighs> Pardon me. Uh, let's see. Colorado. Male massage parlor workers must wear all white clothing. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> That's racist. Are you kidding me? Keeping a house where unmarried persons are allowed to have sex is prohibited. In Colorado. Say that again, please. Keeping a house where unmarried persons are allowed to have sex is prohibited. Oh, you can go fuck a cactus. Still. That's bullshit. Uh, 
Uh, let's see. <laughs> Here comes good old Florida. Actually, you know what? I can fuck outside. It says in the house, not out. Wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Man, what state was that, though? Colorado. That, 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 was, that was still Colorado? Really? Yeah, both of those were from Colorado. Still. Yeah, interesting. I guess that. Here we go. Here comes good old Florida. <laughs> married married couples as well as singles cannot engage in open quote unquote lewdness or lavicious behavior. So wow. no no exhibitionist bullshit going on. Wow, that's so you, that you, sucks because that's where I make my money on you porn. Man, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so oh wow, Georgia has a pretty bad. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Georgia is my, uh, my hometown. Bad stuff. Continue on. Wait, was that the only one from Florida? Or? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. So here comes Georgia. The term sadomasochistic abuse is defined so broadly that it could be possibly applied to a person handcuffing another in a clown suit. Wow. Wow. A clown suit in my home state? Are you fucking kidding me? Man, this is going on for like many days, you know, that's just, like, how often are you going to get, like, like, many, like, shit like this, like, oh, I'm not small one. Hey, let's continue on. <laughs> Wait, sodom, sodom, masochistic, masochistic behavior, or abuse, I should say. Oh, fucking Lucas is and, dying. God and, <laughs> and the last one here for Georgia how, is... How does that make any fucking sense? Sodomizing it <laughs> in your well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, anyways, and the last one here for Georgia is all sex toys are banned. Oh, oh no. What what's gonna happen next to Spencer Spencer's? Well, where, where, where I came from. I mean, I'm sure I'm 24, and I'm I know a lot about Spencer's, but. They have sex toys there, but really? They get bad now? Come on, dude. Continue on. Oh, fuck <laughs> oh, you! Dude. At least with Arizona, you can at least have one. God damn it. Still. No, you can have two, you just can't have more than two. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one in the pink and one in the stink. Here comes Illinois. There's no sex toys allowed in Georgia. Illinois. Hi. Fucking pathetic. Yeah. If you sell a reptile, you must give a written warning not to quote unquote nuzzle or kiss them. <laughs> what, is this? what if it's reptile Illinois. from Mortal Kombat <laughs> or, or Killer Croc? <laughs> I would never do that either way. Wait, what happened? I said this came from Illinois. Please oh, listen. Illinois? Okay. My oh my god, I had to read this in my head. What excuse can Chris Chan make in Georgia? <laughs> wow. Yeah, no kidding. If he got caught. Oh, that was funny. Let's so, see, and the other thing is, it's prohibited by law to suffer any bitch or slut. This is referring in dogs, by the way. Wow. I've heard of the bitch term, but slut for a dog? I've never heard of that term. Yeah, I know. Indiana. It is illegal for a man to be sexually aroused in public. Oh, come yeah. on! How can you not? <laughs> you know what it's like the Hodge twins? They said this, like, man, if you got a big boner and you got a belt, wearing a belt, you got to put it up and get your belt on and just seal that motherfucker tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Iowa. Yeah, uh, well, shit, Metallica Mania goes, well, shit. Uh, oh, shit, I, my, my whole family's from Iowa, so am I. Oh, no, Iowa. Kisses may, la may last for no more than five minutes. Okay, <laughs> okay, I can honestly see it. What if she's... Well, if she's blowing me, that's not necessarily kissing. That's not kissing, no. no we're talking about mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, not mouth-to-dick, so we're good wow. there. Wow. My uh, dick needs oxygen, hell! <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. All right, here comes Kansas. Illegal sodomy includes oral sex, but anal penetration with a finger is allowed under specified circumstances. Yeah, when I turned 40. <laughs> Man. Kentucky. Yeah. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> God it's damn. Kansas. It's Kansas, man. Man, still. All right. <laughs> Kentucky. That's why you never see Margot Robbie posters in Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Let's see, Kentucky. Dogs must not molest property or people. Man. Oh, humping the leg. Oh, oh mm-hmm. shit. Let's see, until 1975, people wearing bathing suits on any city street were required to have a police escort. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that was until 1975, by the way, so that, that's no longer relevant. <laughs> Holy shit, Louisiana. Fucking turn it up to 11. No. <laughs> that's wild, though. Necrophilia is legal. What? I bet you was wanting Redfin lips there, the son of a bitch. One of the people who wrote Drawn Together. The movie. Oh, yeah, that too. Uh, okay. okay. Lucas, what's what's wrong with your left nostril underneath? I got scratched from shaving, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. This is so, uh, right, the, and this is the other one from uh, Louisiana. This was uh, this is more specifically in New Orleans. Uh, it is illegal to use fortune telling, astrology, or palmistry to settle lovers' quarrels. That's that kind of makes sense. Yeah. I guess. I mean, I guess, but I don't. I ain't gonna bother. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. still. Mass- Massachusetts. Massachusetts. All right, let's see. <laughs> Oh my God! Well, I, I guess I'm, I guess I can't ever visit Massachusetts now. Well, well, I am because I have to see my, a friend of mine named Jeremy Crispo. If he's watching this now, I should react. But what's gonna happen next to one illegal state or whatever? Not if, what's bad about it? Continue you on. All right. Making noise in a public library is a crime against chastity, morality, decency, and good order. That's bullshit. Fuck you, dude. What happens if I fucking rip a loud fart? <laughs> oh, God. Don't maybe start on this part and sound effects and all of a sudden you get to see the library. It's like uh, an episode in Price of Jokers. And all of a sudden you get this shit like this. Well, oh, fuck you. I went to... I never been to Plymouth, Massachusetts, or Boston because I want to see a friend named Jerry Crispo. And if you watch this now, I'm like, God, making noise in the library is just legal. I'm like, Dude, come on, continue on. <laughs> then I guess you, I guess you're a terrible person then. Yeah. Let's see, Michigan. A man who seduces or corrupts an unmarried woman faces five years in prison. Oh, God, no. So, so having sex with a woman who's not married, you can go to prison for five years. Bullshit. A seduces or corrupts. Yeah, I guess so. What? That's fucking weird, dude. That is weird as fuck. Dude, what? Okay, dude, you want to talk about... That's kind of sexist. I'm surprised it ain't double standard. Like, what if you bang a guy who's not married? <sighs> See what I mean? Yeah, there's there's a bunch of like Stupid. it's not it's not it's just, it's not consistent. Uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, another thing. Look at all the time. <laughs> <laughs> another thing. Another thing in Michigan. Low riding pants that expose underwear are a class B offense, but if they expose butt cleavage, there's a class A offense. Wow. You know, I actually Ooh. like that because I'm sick and tired of those punk ass skater fucks. Who walk around all like, oh yeah, I'm a badass, and they're sagging their pants and their fucking underwear and shit. I'm just like, pull your fucking pants up, goes up to your waist. You know? Yeah, it's still. The thing is too. Also, keep this in mind. Uh, the origin of the sagging pants thing actually came from prison. It was a sign to let other inmates know that they were available. They were available. That is actually true. It still. is. I always love telling that one because it always breaks people's reality. Yeah, let's see. Um, That's unless one of the hot chicks have like a tramp stamp, and then I'm good. Mm-hmm. Mississippi. It is illegal to teach others what polygamy is. <laughs> 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 well, that sucks for you, Joe, since you like dating multiple women. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's... Oh, zing! <laughs> You can't laugh at that. You get the fuck out of here. That is funny. <laughs> Still. All right. Uh, the other thing from Mississippi here is adultery or premarital sex results in a fine of five hundred dollars or six months in prison. Wow. What the fuck is wait, wait, five hundred? Dude, you can you can buy a you can buy a prostitute for two hundred an hour. I should know. I did it. <laughs> Still. <laughs> oh, Holy man. fuck, dude. I bet she. I bet she had a dong too. Uh, not really. No. She had big tits. Let's see. Um. Like, like you. 
<laughs> in Montana, prostitution is a crime against the family. Man. Against the whole family? I, I, hey, she, hey, against the family? She's working for a family. She's working to make a living, goddammit. <laughs> Nebraska. Man. You cannot get married if you have gonorrhea. <laughs> what? Uh, it's kind of understandable. Wait, that's kind of fucked up, that man. Is funny. Still. I was like, funny. I was just like, dude, I mean, like. <laughs> now, this seems a bit backwards. Fucking Nevada, where I'm from. Uh, the sale of sex toys is, in fact, illegal. What? Are you kidding me? Continue on. And, and laws in Nevada. Okay, hold up a second. Nevada, it's illegal to sell sex toys, yet they have fucking brothels. Man. Yeah. Think about that. Is this what I mean by backwards? Yeah, backwards. It's 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 a clusterfuck. That is a clusterfuck. Thank you, CA Cougar. Who comes up with this bullshit? Still. Masses. Let's see. Um. Get going. I love this, dude. This is amazing. <laughs> this is New Hampshire. Lingerie must not be hung in a clothesline at the airport unless there is a screen concealing it. <laughs> Why would you hang Man. it at an airport? Is this still Why in you... Mm-hmm. In an airport. <laughs> Why would you hang up your lingerie at a fucking airport? You don't need a goddamn don't lingerie there. Because some, something like this happened. Yeah. Something like this oh, happened. Fuck did that. Yeah, like a horse trying to eat a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, New Jersey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Pepsi Man J, boy. Yeah. Flirting is, in fact, illegal in Haddon Township, New Jersey. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> wow, so a certain section in New Jersey, you're not allowed to flirt at all. Nope. Man, it makes I no sense like to me. I would like to know the context behind a lot of these two. I, 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 dude, I, I, I... Okay, now, uh, Super Mario Final 3, that is where it comes in full effect here, man. That <laughs> is bullshit. Exactly. Let's see, New Mexico... <laughs> uh, nudity is allowed as long as genitals and female nipples are covered. Man. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That is funny. It's, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like when Ross the Lion, he posted this picture. Man. <laughs> he posted this picture of this this big, voluptuous, curvy babe. And she has like like uh, pepperoni, pizza, uh, pepperoni pizza slices covering her nipples and her groin. <laughs> between her groin. <laughs> I was man. like, man, that's a meat lover's deep dish. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you have to play outside that area, Super Mario fan, unfortunately. Let's see. Um, let me see. Oh, Pepsi Man's not from that area. Okay. Let's see. Uh, New York. Oh, Gary, oh boy. Adultery is, in fact, illegal. <laughs> Jesus man right no wonder is the the least free state to live in the country well it, i wouldn't doing adultery is pretty shitty dude like yeah but there's so many things that can be considered adultery which is kind of asinine still i guess uh it's kind of, i figured that adultery is pretty like Cut dry and clear, but that's just me. Well, true, but like I said, the reason why I say that is because with how New York is, yeah, New yeah. York is so fucking just odd, odd and political. It's not even funny, and who knows what kind of bullshit they would come up. Oh, speaking of uh, New York, hey, Mr. Garrison, how you doing, buddy? Is he, is he, is he so, here? Yeah, how is someone supposed to date in fucking New Jersey? Then I don't get it either. Not in that get. part of the area. Well, not in that part of the area, but still in that area. Yeah, no kidding. God damn, dude. Yeah, so okay. Sucks. Let's see. Um, North Carolina. <laughs> Adultery is illegal, and so is pretending to be married in order to share a hotel room. <laughs> That's really specific. <laughs> that is really specific. Uh, North Dakota. It was illegal to swim naked in the Red River between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know why you're not allowed to swim at night? That's why they call it the Red River. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Let's see. It's also... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's also like... yeah, yeah, adultery is pathetic. I, I, I agree. I'm not, I'm not defending. I'm just saying some people may consider other types of 
act, sexual acts, adultery. Yeah. Because it, it's been done before. That's what I meant to say. Okay, go ahead, Shannon. Uh, no problem. Uh, it's against the law to fail to confine a dog or a cat in heat. Say that again, please. Yeah. It's against the law. To, oh, I, I heard. It. I just want to hear it again. To it's against the law to fail to confine a dog or cat in heat. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. Well, how, how do you how do you fail? Okay, so you fail if you don't catch if if you see a wild animal who is a dog or cat who is in heat and you fail to catch it, you're fucked. Man, if it's not well, it's it, 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 see the way that it's explained here is so open ended. I imagine exactly. that's what I, I meant. imagine it's meant towards as uh, your your own pets. If it's like a street cat or something like that, like it's just oh okay. Well, that I can understand. Yeah, it's like okay, I said, this that... is really this one's really open ended. So okay, okay, because that that's why I was like saying, wait, what? <laughs> All right, uh, okay, let's see. Um, Ohio. Uh, no person shall solicit uh, solicit sex from another of the same gender if it offends the second person. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Fuck that! The more the merrier. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck, man? It's like, no, oh, I'm just selling vacuum cleaners, or am I? <laughs> man. Oh, uh, okay. This one's a bit fucking weird. Um, Oklahoma. So in Oklahoma, it that's, is... That's, a, that's my safe word. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it, is illegal, it is illegal for the owner of a bar to allow anyone inside to engage in acts or simulated sex acts of sexual intercourse, masturbation, sodomy, bestiality, oral copulation, flagellation, or any sexual acts that are within otherwise prohibited by law. So no simulated intercourse or animal sex. Uh-uh, no. In a bar. In a bar. It does sound like another no shit law. Well, yeah, no. but I mean, it's just fucking... Well, I <laughs> could I could understand this on one thing. You don't want to spread the DNA shit all over the place. And who knows, someone may have this, someone may have that. That's the only thing I can think of. Right. No. <laughs> but animals? God. <laughs> yeah? I mean, look at... Lucas isn't able to bring a donkey in the bathroom stalls. Man. <laughs> you fucking oh ass. God. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> you, ever seen, you ever seen Clarks 2? <laughs> oh, man. God. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I Oregon. Oregon is it? It is illegal to lie down in a public restroom or for two people to share a stall meant for one. <laughs> okay. Mm, interesting. Yeah. yeah. So Pennsylvania, oral and anal sex are illegal. You cannot. Oh. Co- you cannot cohabit with a with an ancestor or descendant. Man, wait hold on. Wait, ancestor or descendant? Why would you, dude? That's fucking nasty. Oh, oh, man. Man. But you can't have oral or. Anal sex there, either. Yeah. yeah. God damn! Oh, fucking boring ass motherfuckers, dude. Still. All in Pennsylvania. Uh, area. It just—it it didn't say one specific area, so all of Pennsylvania, I imagine. Oh fuck. Yeah, hey, no, 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 they, no wonder they, no wonder they need steel dildos. <laughs> Man. Sorry, Lucas. <laughs> You, you, <laughs> man! I can't wait to listen to the beat, the replay. <laughs> oh wait, let's see. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> let's see, South Dakota. Um, oh wait, no, I'm so sorry. Um, South Carolina, got ahead, got ahead of myself. South Carolina, if a man promises to marry a woman as she sleeps with him, the marriage must take place. Oh my uh, god. That must suck. No, yeah, well, I mean, if the man promises to marry a woman, if he promises, he has to hold up on it, by law. Uh, South Dakota. Honey, I promise to switch you to Geico to save 50% of our car insurance. <laughs> man. That's not the time for it, Romy, that's not the time for it. <laughs> no, it's South not. Dakota, uh, public er- er- erections are illegal. What? God damn, man. That's harsh. 
Um, let's see, in Tennessee, um, students may not hold hands in school. That's bullshit. Oh, wait, is yeah, that, that kind of like the no touching law? I know certain... Yeah, no uh, PDA. Yeah. I can understand that, but... Uh, it's kind of yeah, harsh. It, it's like, it's, it's, it's going a little too far. I mean, come on. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, let's see. Um, Texas. Yeah. <laughs> it's illegal to own more than six dildos. <laughs> Wait, why can't Texas have six and Arizona only two? Because it's bigger. <laughs> oh, everything's bigger in Texas, goddammit. Okay, Utah. It's illegal to marry your first cousin before the age of 65 or 55 if you can prove both parties are infertile. What the f- That's a man. Stupid. God damn, man. A lot of fucking uh, Woody Allen bullshit, man. Yeah, and yeah, which I'm not into. Uh, well, parts of it, Woody Allen's awesome still. But what I'm just trying to say here is that's your opinion on Woody Allen. My opinion, he's awesome. See you on. In Utah, it, it, an adult cannot show sex parent paraphernalia to a minor unless they're your own child. What the fuck? That's yeah. actually mixed. Shit. No, I know. It's like school teachers can't have sex ed for other kids. Like they can't teach sex ed in all new No, but like, like, like. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Fucking, there's no fucking logical common sense behind most of these. I don't know. Utah is a Mormon state, so. All right, Virginia. Adultery is a misdemeanor. Man. Let's see. Uh, obscenity is a bigger crime if you use a computer. Man. Wait, wait. If you use a computer, well, yeah, I can, yeah. I can see that if you're going, up, you know, like to catch a predator or all that other type of shit. But yeah, it could be open ended the way they showcase adultery from different perspectives. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> Washington State. If you give a sex worker a ride to work, your car can be confiscated. What? The f- Fuck. Yeah. I want to fuck whoever I want to fuck. If it's my co-worker, I'm going to bang her on my goddamn desk. <laughs> no. But that's just a worker, not a sex worker. Man. Wait, a sex worker? Yeah. If you give a sex worker a ride to work, your car can be confiscated. Man. A sex worker? You mean like porn? Uh, possibly. <laughs> that could fit in the category. Because porn is usually done in either Florida or California. Still. Yeah. So that makes the entire thing mute. Moot. 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 There you go. <laughs> My bad. And finally on this list, West Virginia. <laughs> oh, God. Uh oh. Oh, wait, no, th- this is recently repealed. Okay, never mind. I was about to well, say, what, I, know, was, I know some was, people who are going to be in some trouble. <laughs> what, was what was repealed? All right, here we go. An unmarried couple who lived together and lewdly associated could face up to a year in jail. Dude, dude I, okay, dude. this sounds like some heavy religious shit. Well, it's West Virginia, dude. Believe me, I know. Man. Yeah. And that comes from that list. Let's go to the other list. I did have one thing, though. There was nothing for Wyoming. Nothing for Wyoming or Maryland. Really? I'm surprised about that. I mean, too. I guess Steve and Steve K, DJ Steve Charisma has nothing to worry about then. Mm, guess not. <laughs> all right i got 10 of them here right? or i'm sorry 11 all right in aniston alabama if a woman loses a, into a game of pool it is illegal for her to settle her tab with sex man okay. yeah. well, that's prostitution yeah <laughs> in harrisburg pennsylvania it is illegal to have sex with a truck driver in a toll booth <laughs> man <laughs> Actually, I wouldn't. You know why? You would have to pay twice. One for the sex, one for the toll. Still, even though it would be awesome, it's just, well, bits and pieces get up there and just um, be having sex in your car. I, well, makes no sense to me, but whatever. <laughs> Let's see. 
in Cottonwood, Arizona, couples having sex in a vehicle with flat wheels will be fined. The fine will be doubled if the sex occurs in the back seat. Yeah, keep them wheel, keep them wheels aired up, bitches. <laughs> Man, I gotta make sure. Uh, Newcastle, Wyoming, couples are banned from having sex while standing inside a store's walk-in meat freezer. <laughs> Well, you gotta come up with a way to keep keep both of us warm. Shit, man. Yeah, but you're probably you're probably your Willie's gonna shrink to the size of a fucking peanut. Uh, man, my like nuts true. would. I mean, shit. Which I'm more the peanuts, bro. Yuck. Continue on. <laughs> yeah, fucking. Do oh, I can hear Gary laugh. They would look like walnuts. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tree Mountain, Utah. No woman is allowed to have sex with a man while riding in an ambulance. In addition to normal charges, this woman's name will be published in a no- local newspaper. Man. Oh, you don't understand. I'm trying to save his life, goddammit. <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, dick to ass resuscitation. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to fuck him to, stay, to fuck him out of the light. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, in Oblong, Illinois, it's punishable by law to have sex while hunting or fishing on your wedding day. God! What? <laughs> That's really fucking specific. It is. It's rude to have hunting and fishing while having sex on the wedding day. Did you believe that? Makes no sense to me, but whatever. Continue on. Well, I'll at least give him that specific... Uh... Uh, <laughs> yeah, John Tross here to be like, what? what Let's see, uh, Bozeman, Montana. All sexual activity between members of the opposite sex in the front yard of their home after sundown is illegal, if they're nude. Man. After sundown, but sun up, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man. This is fucking weird. <laughs> 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 Let's yeah, see. I like the door during the show. It makes me work on my turn. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I need to get my, my butt cheeks a little bit browner. Uh, Man. Let's see. <laughs> in, oh. Con- in Connersville, Wisconsin, it's against the law for a man to shoot off a gun when his female partner has a orgasm. <laughs> Man. Oh, what, 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 what kind of gun are we talking about? Aww. <laughs> no, I'm sad. Let's see. In Utah, sex with an animal, unless uh, performed for profit, is not considered sodomy and therefore is legal. What? Man. Okay, so not for, not for profit, so if you're not getting paid, you can fuck animals? No, other way around. If you... Oh, if you're my being God. Paid, I see. You oh, fuck okay. animals. What? Yeah. Does this count because I'm an animal in bed? It makes no sense. Come on now. You don't fuck with animals. Continue on. Uh, well, well, I know one group would take that to effect. PETA. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> PETA. Yeah, <laughs> fuck PETA. Continue on. Animal humane people eat tasty. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let's see. Uh, Oxford, Ohio. It is okay. illegal for a woman to strip off her clothing while standing in front of a man's picture. Oh, and one other thing, too. Yeah, and we'll get to that in a few moments. But, um, um, Pia was recently just been screwed up big time with, um, Chill of Alex big time. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I saw her on the... Tell us about our group and uh, Alex Perry from Chill of Alex and that's just fucked up. Seen here, Pella, you know, just screwed up. Continue on. Oh, that's fucking stupid, man. Agreed, big time. I know it's hard, but that's just me. Let's continue on. And if she wants to get off on her oh, own thing, she's not with, if she's not with her man, if she's just like she needs something to. You know, like a like a like a picture or a video or something. She wants to get kinky. What's wrong with that? Yeah, Still, hurt nobody. Fuck out of here, man. <laughs> Still, okay. And finally, Minnesota. Oh. It's illegal for any man to have sexual intercourse with a live fish. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, with a live fish? Well, I'm going to be killing me a school <laughs> fish, then. Uh-uh. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of jinkings. What the fuck? <laughs> Fighting Nemo, I love you in the moon, but come here, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I'm going to paint Dory. She won't remember. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy sheep shit. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh man. And that right there was the weirdest sex laws in the United States. After I'm done with her, she'd be like, What did you do to me? I'd be like, Just go out to the ocean and just keep swimming. She'd be like, Oh, okay. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Oh, hi. How are you? What was I doing? Man. Oh, my parents. <laughs> <laughs> From that fine Dory movie, but yeah, let's continue on. I don't know this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Man. Oh, man. Oh, that's great. What a fucking list. <sighs> oh, that was the perfect way to go 69. <laughs> Absolutely. I think this is going to end it because, yeah, it is getting a little late. Yeah. Um, thank you guys all for watching. We're going to end this show here because this is a great way to end it. And next week is episode number 70, so look forward to that. Oh, mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. fucking episodes. Huh? That's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. With right, that being said, I would like you guys to conclude tonight, and then we'll be on our way. Yeah, man. I had a good time. This is good. Absolutely. Uh, there's plenty <laughs> more to come next week, of course. We need the 70th episode. <laughs> Plenty more to come, no pun intended. Yeah, exactly. Man. <laughs> so don't get blue balls just yet. I'm just flying on the fuck <laughs> Now, uh, we'll see what happens within the coming weeks as far as uh, news is concerned when it comes to uh, gaming and such like that, because I know the Nintendo Switch was the big thing. But anyways, yeah, we'll see what goes on later down the line. I'm looking forward to next week. So yeah. until then, everybody, have a good night. Uh, rest well. Stay safe, all that good stuff, and we'll see you all next week. It's good stuff, man. Well, now it's your turn. I'm doing an Xbox for me to be a part of this episode of the Painting <coughs> Show. I caught you off guard here, motherfucker. And just to let you know, episode 60 crossed the 900 mark. Well, fuck off. Continue on. Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. It is the second most watched of all time. The worst episode ever. I hate this episode. When I react to it, I'm like, fuck off. Continue on. And Lucas predicted it. It's going to cross a thousand, and he's right. It'll, it's only a matter of time. So join us for episode 70 in the near future. Signing off for Lucas, LC Muscles, and the white motherfucking Baron, Professor Wiener. Shout out, Mac Biff Daddy. And your surely run boy, J. Muddy, saying stay tuned. We'll see you next time. And once again, Motherfuck Michael Bennett because he's a real cocksucker. And Travis Kelsey, the little. And Travis guy. Kelsey, that little douchebag. And the other guy, I swear to God, I have a feeling he's gonna win at this Royal Rumble, become 16 time champion. And he, he, if that happens, then WrestleMania will be my last pay per view because fuck WWE, I hope they burn in hell all the way below the ground. Fuck my pocket now! That's gonna do it for right tonight, guys. See you later and stay awesome. Have a great night. So that was the Pan Game Podcast, episode sixty nine. It's sixty nine, guys. What do I think about this episode? It was amazing. Though I just have some flaws from that one one or two flaws. Excuse me. One was that 60 was the most watched view, which is stupid. And number two was the, um, was actually, um, was, George, was about the, George, was about Georgia. And one of this is about these Georgia laws. I'm like, are you kidding me? But anyhow, anyway, it's kind of late in the, uh, where I live, and... We're going to conclude the LGBT Ads episode 3A with the huge bangs. So there you go on that. But hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode, which is going to be the Pay Game Podcast episode 70. But until next time, this is Jefferson. Goodbye. Peace out, baby. We can't watch the ads for you guys very soon. But I'm going to saying out. See ya. to me this
This life I'll never take for granted And given all the time I failed to really understand it I never sought to meet the maker of reality The one who gave the life that which is always happening But I tried All the time